What is up, my ninjas? I am Strident, and welcome to Let's Talk Toy Fair 2019. This is kind of uh, going to take the place of one of the Off Our Brains, and uh, yeah, this was filmed last weekend. Um, I was too busy working on, uh, or I'm sorry, the weekend before this last one had just passed. Um, so it was done the weekend of Toy Fair, that Sunday night. Um, we had crazy weather, so I was stuck indoors doing a whole lot of this kind of stuff. And my internet was acting up. So I was uploading my Bumblebee video, and I was doing this with ODC That's Me. So you are going to see a whole lot of slow internet. So forgive me. My internet is usually pretty good, but it wasn't good that time. We had a couple down power lines, and there were all kinds of issues with uh, different services around that time. So, you know, it kind of shows in the video. But, you know, as usual, sit back, relax, get something to eat, drink, do some cleaning or something, and just listen to us talk about toys. <laughs> so anyway, here we go. Hey, what's up, my ninjas? Um, we are here back again talking about Toy Fair. Um, as usual, you know, I have like a core bunch of people that I usually chat with, but I'm here with ODC. That's me. It's been a while. How are Hello. You? <laughs> mm -hmm. um, it's, it's funny because we were talking about Marvel Legends and certain figures that we wanted to see in the X-Men universe, and it's like, they're doing it. They're doing exactly the ones we were talking about. So... You were talking about Nightcrawler. Yeah. And, and I was thinking, like, they're probably not in a hurry to do it because the Toy Biz one is so well done. But a lot of the things I said about that figure are true. They didn't do – they didn't top the articulation of the the Toy Biz one. So, like, if you have it, you really don't need to get rid of it to get this one. You know what I mean? But this one has, like, a happier – like a super happy face. He's got like a big old smile on his face. I I don't think he's gonna be tall. He looks like he's on one of the Spider Man bucks, so Yeah, you know. he's had a skinny body, which is pretty I wanna say as far as how skinny the Toy Biz one is, he's not not as skinny, but yeah, it's accurate. A little bit more muscular, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, it's accurate. It's not it's not bad. Yeah. Like um what's the dude's name? Uh Neil Adams, I no, not Neil Adams. What's the guy's name? There's just a handful of, like, Chris Boccolo and a couple other guys, they draw him with this kind of frame. So it fits, you know? They It's yeah. weird, because Marvel Legends has done enough figures that, like, <clears throat> they can, uh, they now have a decent amount of bucks that fit the majority of, like, classic comic book characters. Yeah. Um, and, and even though I'm not into the, um, the comic book Marvel Legends anymore... This is still, except for the X Men. Yeah, these are must gets. Um, oh my god, there's so many of them. Yeah, they went nuts this I'm year. I'm almost overwhelmed. I know they went nuts. the The big standout ones are um, we'll, we'll, since we're on X Men and and X related figures. Fucking Cannonball Man. Dude, I've been how long? You know how how much I love Cannonball. Mm -hmm, me too. Like, how long have I been begging for this? Yeah. You've mentioned it on every Toy Fair video we've done. Yeah. <laughs> every everyone every we've store. done since we first started doing these. And they finally did it. So we not only did we get Cannonball, and his effect is pretty awesome because it looks like you can detach his waist and put the fire effects in there. Yeah, um, and then put regular legs. Down. They don't show the legs, but I'm assuming they're going to come with those. They better. If they don't, then, you know, I feel sorry for all those folks that are like hardcore yeah. Marvel Legends collectors because... <laughs> <laughs> they just they just gypped everybody, but uh, they're giving us Boom Boom, so we can have those two together finally. Boom Boom and uh, uh, Cannonball, yep. and she she looks good. It looks like they just me uh, tweaked the Jubilee uh, head and glasses and hair and all that shit. But it it looks dope. I mean, it's simple. It's straight up Lee Fields design. Um, yeah, they they really cheaped out on this. I mean, like it's it's just a pink buck. With red belts, red gloves, and a red jacket, like vest type deal, <laughs> and then the repainted Jubilee head. So, you know, it, it. I wish when they did stuff like this, the figure was drastically cheaper, because they didn't really do anything. They didn't. They didn't even dip into the bucket of 
supplies and reserves and shit. Like, it's literally, like, bare bones as it gets. But it, it works in this case, you know? Um, what else? They, they're doing a new Mr. Sinister, which I need. We have this a looks really good. I was like, because I have the Toy Biz one, and I'm like, I don't know. If, I don't even know if they need to just touch that one. Yeah, I know, but right? This looks pretty damn good. This looks more like the more recent depictions of him with the black on top of the yeah. blue ribbed costume. Um, it's funny. So I have the Toy Biz one. It actually, my um, older son gave it to me a long time ago when I kind of first officially became his stepdad. Um, I forgot what figure I got for him. I think I gave him um, some animated series like Justice League figures because I had a, a few of them and he liked them more than I did. So I gave them to him. And he gave me this and the um, the tan and brown Wolverine and the uh, Punisher, the old Toy Biz Punisher. Um, but anyway, we were playing with our old Mr. Sinister. Um, and uh, at some point, we were playing on a desk. And at some point, we were using Black Panther. And I was using Ultimate Cap. He was using Black Panther. And they were fighting Mr. Sinister. And at some point, we knocked over the lamp. They're like one of those standard desk lamps, you know, with the bendable necks or whatever. Yeah. And it, it landed near Mr. Sinister, but I didn't see how close it was. So we left the room to go get something. We came back, and his freaking hand was, like, melted off. Oh, boy. So, like, one hand was melted. I'm like, shit, I'm glad I caught this before too long because we could have burned down the goddamn house, you know? But, um, <laughs> so for a long time, you know, in-universe, whenever we play with Mr. Sinister, he had a, a grudge against, you know, Cap and... Uh, Black Panther for you know him losing his hand, which is kind of weird because you know he can re regenerate and shit. But yeah, for the sake of you know our toy world, he couldn't in that fight. Um, so yeah, now for the longest time, like on my display on my shelf, I've got a Mister Sinister with a melted hand, and now I'll finally be able to have one. I mean, I could have always rebought him, but I just was like, you know, he's not that fucked up, and it's kind of cool that he has a battle scar. But this is cool because now I have a reason. To go pick up another Mr. Sinister and take his place. Plus, he looks more cartoony, whereas okay. the Toy Biz ones always were painted and designed in a semi-realistic way. Like, how would these costumes look if they were rendered in reality, you know, with real materials and shit? So, yeah, yeah this is dope. This is dope. I'm, I'm happy about that. Um, I love the old vintage uh, cards we're going to get with these uh, vintage 90s style. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, I was telling my I son. That's another thing I was I was saying for the longest time. Like, why don't they just do an X Men line? Mm -hmm. like they did like Toy Biz did all those years ago, and now they're it looks like they're going that route with the vintage style packaging and stuff. I think that's cool. Yeah, I'm geeked about that. That uh, Cyclops. I was like, when I saw oh, it, yes, dude. I was like, dude. I was like, this is the one I had when I was a kid. But then I looked up close, and I'm like, oh shit, that's the Marvel Legends version, like yeah. the X Factor style. And then the one that blew me out, the just completely blew my mind, was Dazzler. I'm like, they finally, yes. finally, they've had the parts forever, and they finally did it. Now, it might once again be on the skinnier body. Which I hope it's not. I hope she's thick. I hope they use the woman body. I can't tell yet. I'm trying to... She's going to be on the skinny body. Yeah, she's on the skinnier body. body. Fuck. Yeah. But I could fix that. <laughs> <laughs> I probably will have to fix that if I do. I, I got to get her. Because when I remember playing um, Children of the Atom. And, mm -hmm. I mean, not Children of the Atom. Uh... Is that what it was called? No, it was just the arcade game. And she was one of my... She was the first character I played this game as. Um, and, and I've always wanted one because I've always wanted her and Longshot, but I've never... They never seem to have done a good enough Longshot. I didn't like the Toy Biz one that much, so... Well, if, they, if they're going to they're gonna give us Dazzler, they have to give us Longshot. Exactly. Foreseeable future, you know? Exactly. So I'm, I'm geeked about this, man. I'm For once, I have less negatives to say it's actually for a while i haven't had as many negatives to say about um marvel legends because i kind of found my niche you know like i love the x-men stuff and i love the movie stuff the rest of that shit everybody can have it <laughs> i'm kind of like not feeling how they don't put as much i mean you can kind of see it with these guys 
but the good part is that this fits the depiction in the comics, so it's not too far from what they're supposed to look like. Yeah, exactly. But uh, I dig that. Silver Samurai looks cool. Um, I I'm never... really a big fan of that, because that, that Cyclops, yeah. that was the first X-Men action figure I ever owned. Same here. It Same was here. the first one I actually bought it. Um, well, I didn't buy it, but my parents actually bought it for me, and this is actually the first time I was actually introduced to the X-Men. Yeah. Was through this action figure line, and there was this little bodega, and my we're uh, we're on a family trip. Long story short, it was like a little bodega, and it had all these X Men figures. And we went into this little ba- bodega in in the Bahamas, uh-huh. and they had every single one. Oh, and that whole know, line! Like, they had the whole the whole first wave was there. Gotcha. And I was like, I was like. Why do these guys look so familiar? And I was like really young at the time. I was like, why do these guys look so familiar? I'm like, oh yeah, it's, it's the it's the fucking X Men. Yeah. So I'm like, I was like, <coughs> I picked up Cyclops without really knowing too much about him. I just remember reading the back, and I was like, I had this like little paragraph about it. It wasn't. I don't think it was even much. And um, right next to it, there was a bunch of X Men comics. Mm-hmm. Kind of in those spindle stands. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so I grabbed like two X Men comics, and then my my parents bought me Cyclops, and then um, I remember wanting to go back, and my parents wouldn't let me go back for the rest of the you know because um, it was like kind of out of the way of the other stuff we were doing. Um, but uh, by the end of the trip, when we got home, my parents surprised me and bought me the, the almost the whole wave, except for like it was like Apocalypse I didn't get. Yeah. And, uh, who else? Storm. Oh, no, I had Storm. I can't remember who else it was. But anyway, yeah. but they, they pretty much got me the whole wave, and I remember just being so ecstatic, so happy. And But that Cyclops, me, it means a, kind of a, a lot to me. So it's, yeah, I'm very happy that they decided to go back to the style packaging, and I think it's pretty cool. So, so. Yeah. I um I'm pretty geeked about it too. Like I like like you said, I had the same well similar kind of situation with them. My best friend growing up that that's what we were collecting at this time, and uh, his parents got him the whole wave, and then from one of my birthdays, I think I had picked up Wolverine, and that was the only one I had. And then for one of my birthdays, between him and his parents, they got him for me. So um, we both had the whole you know, that whole wave, and we were watching, like, Pride of the X-Men had come on television at the time. Really? I, had al- I had already been reading X-Men comics for a while, just kind of, because they were cool-looking characters, you know, back then. Oh, yeah. And uh, that was literally where the first batch of all this, like, obsession with these kinds of action figures popped up, you know? Because, I mean, like, before this, we had Secret Wars, and that's probably it. When it comes yeah. to Marvel, um, you know, the superpowers figures were out, but, you know, that's a whole different situation. But, yeah, they did a good job hearkening back to that nostalgia shit. But at least they're, they're doing it this time with figures that, at least for me and you, we actually give a shit about. I didn't give a shit about the weird, you know, Marvel superheroes uh, specific line. Because mm-hmm. the figures were kind of shitty. So, like... Reminding me how shitty those figures were and then putting a Marvel Legends figure in the box, that's yeah. not really my nostalgia, you know what I mean? Like, Yeah. The Punisher figure was fucking awful. And they had that, like, the one with the backpack that made noise. Like, ugh. I got claws. <laughs> I can use them. Like, get the fuck out of here. I don't want to be reminded about that. <laughs> oh, <I'm- laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I'm like, oh, come on. <laughs> Like, is he taking a shit? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I wasn't a fan of. Uh, I wasn't really a fan of that, but um, I think they did a good job with uh, with these. They actually seem to scratch an itch for me, at least. You know what I mean? Like they feel like something I'd be into. And plus, it's X Men. We've been fucking dying for X Men stuff, you know? Yeah, we've been starving for years, you know. I mean, granted, we're going to pay for all this stuff. It's not like we're getting it for free, but we've been saying this is an area that we'd like for them to 
put more effort into, you know, pay some attention to. And they're finally doing it. So I'm happy about that. Um, yeah, me too. I dig um, the uh, Forge and, and, and uh, whichever Reaver this is. Skullbuster or whatever. Yeah. And yeah, that whole wave is pretty solid. Yeah. <clears throat> I know we've seen it before. So it's not like it's not... Um, well, the thing comes with a with Bamfa, uh, like teleportation effects, which is pretty cool. Oh yeah, yeah, she does. Yeah, you put them on the ground. Yep. But um, yeah, I'm digging it. I'm digging it. I'm not really. I don't care about Caliban and stuff, but yeah, I know, I know. Um, but uh, yeah. Well, at least it's not the emaciated Caliban. It's like the jacked up, roided Caliban. You know. Yeah. I don't know. Personally, I probably would have preferred them to do the scrawny version because this was like a one-time thing. This wasn't his standard... I shouldn't say one-time, but this was like... Was, this was a smaller... Uh, like, more of the time he was scrawny. From what I remember him, at least when I, when I was introduced to him. He wasn't always ginormous and fucking ripped. I remember him being... I always remember him from, like, after this point. Where he was skinny and scrawny, he was depowered, I guess, or powered like less, lower powered or something. Mm -hmm. But I mean, hey, he's big. It's not like they're giving us, you know, Jubilee as a build a figure again. <laughs> that shit's not God, right. That would have been awful. Um, Gambit's amazing. I'm like, thank you. Um, well, actually, Jubilee and Boom Boom's head are, are different sculpts. The faces or the hair? Because the faces and the glasses I, I, look like the same. I can't see the face with this photo. It's just got her bubble gum on there. I don't know. Yeah, I think the face and the hair are, are the same. I mean, no, the, the, the face the faces, Boom. I mean, are the same, but the hair is different. That's what I meant. And then Boom Boom has bigger fucking blue blockers on. <laughs> blue, blue blockers. But yeah, they're doing their thing with these X-Men, man. Forge. I, I mean, we talked about Forge, but mm -hmm. he looks good. He, he looks good. looks great. Looks a lot better than that shitty two pack that we've been. Oh my god! I sold that figure for sixty dollars. Someone bought that. Like they, I had it on eBay. No, I had it. Did I have it on eBay? I think I did for like twenty five, mm -hmm. and uh, or a bid. Na the starting price was like twenty five because I didn't think anybody was gonna pay. Or maybe it was seventeen. It was something really low. I remember that. I left it for two days. I come back, and it was about sixty five. People, that was what it got up to before someone bought it. I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? Why? And that was before, I, because I was new to eBay, I think I couldn't choose buy it now, the buy it now. I can't remember why it was. Maybe I didn't know. I don't remember how it, it got that way. But yeah, someone bought it for 65 bucks, and I'm like, why? But hey, whatever. You gave me 65 bucks for a shit figure. <laughs> I was trying to give him a deal, but you know. But yeah, this this is a worthwhile figure. Um, but yeah, let me, let's, let's talk about the stuff that's brand new. The writers figures. I oh, like, well, well, I gotta, I gotta, what about the three pack? You see the three pack with oh. Magneto and the, oh, and the twins. Right? Yeah. That's pretty dope. Yeah. That's pretty dope. I got Magneto correct. The right kind of Magneto. <laughs> and they finally did a, a Quicksilver because for a long time, yeah. Quicksilver, I think there's only one Quicksilver figure, and he's like green, if I remember correctly. He's on the no, shit. The green, I have both versions. There's a green, there's a green a and a blue? Yeah. But it's the same figure. Yeah, it's the exact same figure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they only did, you know, one, but they did a variant. But, like, yeah. now they gave us one that looks pretty damn, like, he looks healthy. He doesn't look <laughs> all emaciated and shit. He doesn't have ten big hands. Yeah, exactly. So I'm I'm pretty I'm pretty amazed at, at what they did. The the um Scarlet Witch looks pretty cool too, even though I don't need another Scarlet Witch, but this one has flat soles. She's not she doesn't have the heels. Which okay. I just wish they would fucking engineer better heels. Yeah. Because the heels look dope on the figure, because she had the legs for it and you know, you want to stand her up the right way, but like uh, but she still looks cool with regular boots, and she can stand up now. And that head yeah. sculpt is fucking amazing. I was like, wow! I didn't think they could really. I didn't think there was a need to do anything better. You know, to like do anything to to to, to amp up the look of, of 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 Scarlet Witch. But yeah, that looks good. Um, but Magneto, they really fucking fixed Magneto. This is easily the best Magneto 
Hasbro's done. Mm-hmm. Hands down. Yep. I mean, even with the, the crazy face, which I hope he has another head. I uh, hope. I've seen I've seen pictures in the three pack, and that's what you get. Oh well, I guess if you've already if you already bought them from past lines, you could always fl- switch out the head. I have the head from Onslaught, the Magneto head, and I'd probably put that on this body, and it'd be perfect. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm talking about? The one with the shadow, shadowed out face? Mm-hmm. Yep. Um, but yeah, um, Quicksilver looks dope. I- I'm glad they finally did a classic Quicksilver, Silver, even though I'm not a fan of Quicksilver. It's still, he's kind of necessary, you know? And it's it's strange that it's taken him this long. Yeah. Exactly. But uh, especially White when... Queen, that White Queen, I know it's a modern version of her, but... I like it. I like it, but it's it dumb. Great. That head sculpt looks fucking amazing. It's dumb that she's the White Queen wearing all black. Yeah, <laughs> I'm like, you've seriously fucked up, guys. <laughs> but well, uh, How about, uh, speaking of fucking up, they got fucked up and gave us the wrong guy, the goddamn Dr. Doom. It's like, why, I know, why, why did they... Why did anyone think that this was a good idea? Well, there's people who dig this version. I, I'm not one of those people. You know, Ugh, it looks horrible. It's a fucking like Iron Doom or. Whatever. I don't think it looks horrible. It's just generic. I because you know I'm sick of Iron Man. Like everything has to be somehow connected to Iron Man of all people. That's one of the Marvel things that I don't like. Even though this is a different, I don't think. Oh no, they have given us this costume before. This uh, in Iron Man. This is the one that they forced into the Black Panther wave. Yeah, the Incredible Iron Man or something. Yeah. Invincible? Inven- Invincible Iron Man. Yeah, I'm not a fan of it. Um, Just the, They gave us the entire Fantastic Four. Why, why, why the hell would you pick this Doctor Doom? Why I think he's pick- coming. I think the, cla- oh. the classic one is coming. It's on the way. Yeah. I mean, it would be a shame for them not to, and they're still doing Walgreens exclusive, so I know he's on the way. He's got to be. Um, World War Two cap. I like it. Yeah. With um, the bike? Oh, my God. Uh-huh. I like it a lot. That bike is dope. <coughs> um, the design of this cap is dope. It looks much better than the, the original Hasbro one that we got. Um, yeah. You already know I'm up on the uh, the movie version, too, which I guess it, we'll get to that one in a second because we're in the, the X-Men and some of the... I don't know why they haven't broken up like this, but uh, the Homecoming 2-pack is kind of funny. I don't really care. I'm not a fan of that version of Spider-Man at all. The Mary Jane, the or MJ figure looks cool, but like I said, I don't care about Homecoming. If I got her, I'd turn her into somebody else altogether. <laughs> She'd be a whole different character. Um, yeah, that's a that's a pass for me. I, well, I like having normal figures so that like if I have like Tokusatsu characters, like Common Riders or Power Rangers or something, and they transform, I could have like. You know, the, the out of the costume and in the costume, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But, um, let's see. What's here? Um, I'm just getting closer looks at that Beast figure. It looks so good. Yeah, Beast looks awesome. I can't, he's got toe articulation. He's like the only one. <laughs> the only well, one. That's fun to me. I, 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 I know, you love Beast, so that works, yeah. I feel like him and Nightcrawler should have had it. I feel like true. all Spider-Man true. figures should have it. True. I agree with you that. You know, even Gambit. Like, characters like that that are agile and shit, they should have it. But, like, yep. you know, this is what they're this is what they're giving their, their, their fans, so, you know. It works. It's not terrible. It's just, you know, I feel like sometimes they should go the little bit of the extra mile. Um, and I gotta say that they're doing a lot better with their larger character figures. Oh yeah, like, oh yeah. For me, Thing was like the best Marvel Legend last year. Yeah, maybe between Thing and uh, Call Obsidian. I would it, say for well, I, I don't want to say like putting them against uh, um, the movie stuff movie figures, but like the comic figures. Yeah, yeah, I agree. I think he's the best of the comic figures. I mean, you got the most for your money. <laughs> yes, you got everything you needed with him. Yeah. Perfect. I well, I guess I guess some people didn't own it, but he didn't have a coat or a hat or kids. Well, because he doesn't, he doesn't always have that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like that—that that was a later thing. <laughs> <laughs> but, Hydro Man looks pretty awesome. Yeah, that's true. He does look cool. That's a figure I never thought they would make a Marvel Legend of, <laughs> because that's such an obscure. 
you know, Spider-Man villain. Most of the people that are, well, I shouldn't say that, but a lot of people collecting Marvel Legends yeah. probably never read a comic with that guy in it. So, you know, it's kind cool. of funny. And there's a lot of Marvel characters, like the Serpent Society. Half of those guys haven't been in comics for years. And then, like, there's mm-hmm. people who are bugging them. Continue, make more, make more. I'm like, really? Of all the characters that you could have, you want them? I don't well, know. I guess if you're a Captain America fan, you want some more villains for them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Villains, I mean, more villains are good. I just, I just mean, like, they're so obscure. Sure. Oh yeah. You know, like that's. Look just... at fucking my boy Scorpion, bro. Yeah, they did a good job with that. Oh, finally! I've been waiting so long for an update for him. Yeah, they uh, did a good job with Scorpion. Um, where is he? Sorry, I know I'm kind of jumping all over the place, but I'm just really excited for a lot of these. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I am too. I'm trying to find him on the page that I'm on. I'm gonna probably have to jump around a little bit more. Um. Surprise, you know, with the, the six arms Spider Man and then the Doppelganger release, mm-hmm. no spiral yet. Yeah, yeah, I know, right? What's what's up with that? That's that's very odd. Oh here he is. Here's uh Scorpion. What do you think of uh, uh or uh fucking beta ray bill? I was just looking at him right now. He looks really good for you know, even though it's like his more modern look, um I don't mind. I think it looks good. Um, maybe I'm hoping maybe for a, a little bit more of a classic look, but it's okay. I, I don't mind. It, it looks good. Yeah. God, what is it? Is it the site is down or some shit? Like yeah, it's the mouth. The fucking yeah. site. Like I can't. I'm clicking on shit and it's not. It's not loading. <laughs> the fuck. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Take your time. No, no rush. Of course, while I'm recording, that's when this this decides to happen. Like, oh, you're, you're doing a video, so yeah, uh, no. The, the wonders of editing. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? Hopefully that'll work. Still slow. I'm getting that, like, the spinner of death. Oh, my God. Are you serious? All right, let's yeah. try a different one. There we go. Yeah, Scorpion looks cool. I need more uh, Spider-Man villains, so this is right on time for me. Um, I would have preferred one of the more, like, updated versions, but then again, these are, if if this is where they're going and it's going to be more classic and it's kind of like a counter to what we're getting in the films, I'll take it. Yeah. I'm not a fan of, I mean, outside of Spider-Verse, I'm not really a fan of what they're doing with Spider-Man on screen. Um, I'm not, I'm not in a hurry to, to collect all that shit. I mean, although fucking Vulture was amazing. I still play with that figure. I'm like, man, that is a dope-ass design. <laughs> I mean, like, the wings alone, I, even though there's some things that they should do, given that they made the wings separate from the figure, mm-hmm. um, it's still dope. It's still real dope. Um, let's see. I don't give a shit about Spider-Woman. I can't remember what her name was. Uh, yeah, I don't care for that one. I, I didn't care for her. I'm not really... I was always more of a Jessica Drew. Yeah, same here. Same here. Vivacious. I know, right? (laughs) Yeah, exactly. (laughs) Oh, and they're giving us Shuri, which we knew from some of the pictures. They had like a whited out um, image of Shuri. Well, of someone when they announced the current Black Panther wave. Mm -hmm. And uh, we all knew it was going to be Shuri. Up until now, the only Shuri that was available was the um, the one from the, the kids' line with only, like, five or six points of articulation, something like that. Um, mm-hmm. And I have that one, so I'm kind of geeked about finally having an actual Shuri figure. I bet she seems like she might be an exclusive. I bet. I bet. She'd probably be, like, a Walgreens exclusive, I bet. I bet. Oh, my God, this fucking sight. Everybody I must be on cool here. That her gauntlets have the little like effect coming out. Yeah, because that's how the that's how the other ones are too. Yeah, the um, good. the other uh, the, the smaller figure. That's how those are. Um, yeah, I'm geeked about those. I'm 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 surprised that they went there. I wasn't expecting them. I shouldn't say I wasn't expecting fully, but I wasn't expecting, you know. 
this to be one of the reveals. I was kind of expecting other shit to pop up. Yeah. I mean, all the movie figures are fantastic. Yeah, I'm 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 pretty uh I'm pretty impressed with how they've handled the movie stuff. Um I don't have any issues with any of the movie figures with the exception of some of the Captain Marvel figures, and it's not to like jump on the bash Captain Marvel, but it's like that's a line where since there's only a handful of characters that matter, they shouldn't have given us so many comic book figures. They should have given us more like like the Star Force characters. There's like four or five of them, mm-hmm. and they only gave us a Captain Marvel with alternate heads so you could do the female members of Star Force. But uh, yeah. Jan Rog, I think his name is, or Yog, whatever, he doesn't have alternate heads so that you can make the other male members of star force so you can't make the whole team yet i mean i'm sure they'll probably eventually um you know create those you know and and and, you know add those to the line but as of yet we don't have them which kind of blows because you know there's like four versions of captain marvel (laughs) and and (laughs) one one version of anybody else which sucks yeah I'm surprised they didn't do more scrolls. I'm gonna be honest with you. If you're yeah. Introducing a very important race. Yeah, yeah. Of the universe. I'm surprised you don't have more of them. Um, I hope they do Secret Invasion down the road, as far as movies go. I think I that's they where they're going. I, I hope so. Um, because um, that's I, that's one of my favorite stories. Um, it was a good one. What about the 80 years? Oh, my God. The Hulk versus Wolverine. First appearance of Wolverine 2-pack? Yeah. Oh, my God. That Hulk looks so good. Yeah, the Hulk looks awesome. I don't care about the Wolverine. The alternate yeah. head on Juggernaut looks dope. Um, I was surprised. God damn. There we go. They're kind of coming out with the face-off 2-packs. Yeah, that's what it is. Yeah, they're going back to that. <laughs> it's yeah, it's cool. pretty cool. Um, I was surprised to see this Hulk because he's the right proportions and everything. So, yeah. you know, it's it's about time. Um, I don't know. I'm probably gonna pass on a Colossus. Oh yeah, I'm still I'm good. I'm good on, on those. I'm good with my select. Yeah, exactly. I don't think anything's gonna gonna top the select version that I have. So, um, but then again, we have a Captain America done properly. Finally, I know that's true. Look at the the chainmail is finally sculpted. Uh huh. It only took nineteen years. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, well, we did get Toy Biz did it. Almost every cap they did, except for the very first one, had the sculpted chainmail. So, you know, it's it's Hasbro. It took them basically the entire time up to now yeah. to finally get. I think there was one figure that had. Something along these lines, and that was the Marvel Now cap with the um, yeah, he had, sculpted, he had that sculpted uh, like waffle, uh, not waffle, but like hexagonal pattern on his um, armor. But uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy with this one. I mean, he's he seems like he's the wrong color overall. I know Alex Ross paints him darker, mm-hmm. but uh, in comics, he's usually closer to like sky blue, mm-hmm. but um. I like the dark blue, honestly. It looks good. I think it, look, I think it looks good. It'll separate him from all the previous versions of him that they've released. Yeah, even as this classic. Colors, I don't mind it. Yeah, I don't mind it either. Even this this classic uh, Iron Man. Like I like it. I like the the, the metallic yeah. everything. Like I don't. I think like there's no reason for them ever to not release Iron Man with these metallic colors. Yes, this is actually an Iron Man I actually want. Yeah, and then especially the guy standing next to him. Our boy. Yep. <laughs> so, how yeah. good does he look? He yeah, looks that Thor so looks awesome. Oh my god! It's about time and I've too. I've been waiting for it forever because I still have the Toy Biz one. Yeah. And he, he, his ankles are at this point so loose he can he can't even stand. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm like, oh, finally, thank you. See, mine <laughs> the the one I have I have the um mine isn't the classic Thor I have the uh. What was it? The Age of Heroes store from Marvel Select with the spinning hammer effects. Okay. And uh, I think the the classic Thor I have is the one from 
Holy shit. It was the one in my video from, from way back when, when they did those first appearance figures, and he had, like, real hair and shit, you know? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was the only... <laughs> I had him, and I had the Icons, the big Icon store, um, which is an awesome figure. Um, it's just he's, he's ginormous. Um, yeah, but, those Icon figures are so well detailed. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It always made me wish that they had shrunk them down and did, you know, six-inch versions of those. Um, yeah. but, uh, yeah, I was a fan of that, and, uh, I don't know why it's, there we go, it's moving so slow, but yeah, that Thor looks perfect, that was literally what we were reading throughout the 80s and the 90s, um, so yeah, they did good here, I mean, these are, these are quality, um, yeah. I'm assuming that those are, the Thor, Iron Man, and, and Cap are gonna be a three-pack, and then the other, the other four are gonna be two-packs, so. It's possible. I kind of hope. I saw packaging for the other for Cap and Thor and Iron Man, and they were all single packs. Oh yeah, I see it here. They're single. So right? I hope they are. Um, yeah. yeah. Now I will give them props for going back. This is more on the movie side. They went back and they made did a proper Iron Spider with larger. Uh, with actually comes with the fucking spider arms. He's got the metallic parts on his costume. His wrists are re-sculpted with the bands like he had in the movie. Um, like, it looks like a separate figure, not just a 100% repainted Homecoming Spider-Man. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, so props to them for that. I'm geeked about that because I was not at all impressed with most of the Infinity War figures. I don't think I bought a single one. Yeah, I didn't buy any of them. Not Cap, not Iron Man. Uh, oh, no, I'm lying. I have... Thor and uh, Black Widow, because they look good. But, like, most of the others, I, I need to get Proxima Midnight. Most of the others don't look good. And uh, fucking Call Obsidian, that's not even the right design. You know what I mean? Like Yeah. So, Kind yeah. of like a weird amalgamation of, like, part movie, part comic. Well, it's, it's, the, it's one of the early concept designs, like the concept art. Yeah. So it, it's kind of annoying that they jump the gun... When they have the potential and the ability to just go back, you know, a year or so later and re-release the figure, if, if anything, why not? I know money is the, you know, that's the reason. But, like, put forth a quality product that everybody will be like, damn, this is dope. Don't just put something out just to fill the spot. But I guess since they know their audience, they know everybody will get them. Like, I had no choice because I bought that, that wave the, the um, Cull Obsidian Wave, um, mm -hmm. and, and all the figures were pretty dope for the most part, you know? And once I had more than half of him completed, I was like, well, uh, I'll complete him. <laughs> so, you know, I completed him. But he's not a bad figure. It's just the fact that it's not movie accurate in a line or wave, I guess, series of waves that's supposed to be movie accurate. But these here, they're doing the damn thing as far as the accuracy goes. They're using metallics. Yeah for the uh, paint and for the plastics, and I dig that. And the Iron Man, they finally are doing him the right way with all the attachments. and Yeah, his back attachments, like the... The, the floating extra, rays, yeah. Yeah. Those look good. I And I never bought a Mark 50, so now I have one that I can actually go get that, that's worth a damn. Because <laughs> the other one looked like shit. I was like... I mean, I shouldn't say it looked like shit, but it was not a... a it was a shitty release... Because you were just getting another Iron Man with the same parts and same effects. And you're getting that the same year that they released the Mark 7 that was like a completely amazing figure from the movies, you know? Mm -hmm. um, with all the with the air brakes in the back that pop out. And, you know, he was well articulated. I mean, it just it looks good. I mean, it doesn't really... It's not the best Mark 7 that we've ever seen. But in terms of what Hasbro does with their movie figures, it's a fucking amazing figure so this here is worth it because you're getting the figure plus the effects and he's got a paint job that's that looks movie accurate you know so props to them for that um let's see what else michael Pena's character looking like mean gene okerlund i know right fucking Luis. yeah i was happy <laughs> about that phone, that's all i know right i wouldn't be surprised if those parts are not um, similar to uh, Mattel, really? Yeah, to like the way Mattel does it. They look like it, you know. Yeah. Um, but no, I'm surprised, man. I'm surprised. I was like 
Luis, like of all people, he's getting a figure? Shit. But yeah, I dug Ant-Man. Uh, people dissed the shit out of it. I dug it. It didn't blow me away in terms of like the greater Marvel Universe, but as a film, the fact that it was so goofy, but at the same time, it still had the heroics down, I dug it, especially the second one. And people dissed the shit out of that movie. And I'm like, it was fun. I don't care. It was fun. The shit, his, his scenes, like when he does that recap of everything that happened in the previous movie. Yeah. You know how he always does the, everyone is saying everything, but it's his voice and it's his, you know, his, the way he speaks. I was like, yeah, this is perfect. Um, you're, you're getting your ghost. Yeah, I know. Finally, we're getting ghost. We're getting scourge. I love the freaking Scourge figure. Man, his design was dope in uh, Ragnarok. We're getting fucking Korg. Um, I was geeked about that. I saw it. I'm like, oh shit. We're getting another Hela with the better unmasked head. Yeah, she looks good. Um, where's Korg at? She's up to another head that's like angry faced. Yeah. With the headdress. Yep. Sweet. Oh, we're getting Peggy Carter. I oh, like that. Peggy. I was happy about that. I'm like, thank you. And we're getting an unmasked, you know, well, a classic World War II film cap. Do you think we'll get a deluxe figure of E in a hospital bed? <laughs> <laughs> That's wrong. <laughs> That's so wrong. <laughs> Complete with, with, with uh, Alzheimer's action, you know, like, that'd be fucked up. <laughs> um. But no, this. Where, where after you buy the figure, you forgot if you own it or not. <laughs> Instantaneous. That's wrong. <laughs> um, <laughs> but the cap figure looks dope. I'm glad that they did this because I was like, there's so much to like this whole ten years of Marvel that I'm surprised that they just didn't like do a wave for each of the films the way they should have done from the beginning. Because there's so many characters, you know, we should get a classic Bucky. We should get a Howling Commandos, like, a bunch of them. Yeah. There's your there's your wave, essentially. You know, the Howling Commandos and, like, I don't know, the different Hydra troopers and shit. Yeah, um, I'd love to have a Dum Dum Doodle. Yeah, that'd be dope. That'd be dope. Um, but, yeah, this... Yeah, this face sculpt looks a lot better. Huh? It's, his face sculpt still... It, it, looks, it looks a lot better than the other version. I don't think uh, it looks better than the the, the, ten, the last 10 years version. Not the last 10 years, I'm saying the... Uh, the the uh, comic the book Avengers. one? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah I hear you. Well, yeah. Yeah. Um, that looks good. It looks, it looks accurate. That's the important part. It looks accurate to what we saw in that film. So, yeah, they did a good job with this. And I, I'm pretty sure now since they're... It almost feels like the Star Wars black team is being tapped to make these Marvel, the movie Marvel Legends. Mm -hmm. They look, their articulation looks similar. The head sculpts finally looking super accurate, feel like the same way the Star Wars Black Series figures look and feel. Um, it wouldn't surprise me if it's just one massive, you know, development team that's tasked with both. Because, I mean, you see the improvement. Like, over the, film, the movie figures we used to get versus what's here... It's like, yeah. wow, it's a huge jump. Um, the Grandmaster, fucking Grand awesome. And Corb 2-pack. Yeah. That's a pack you're going to get. Yeah, that's fucking awesome. <laughs> Piss off, Ghost! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I'm, I'm surprised that Korg didn't come with Meek. I'm like, seriously? you could. Th oh. They should have had like that be one of his accessories. He doesn't even have to be posable. Just meek. Little bug dude with blades for hands and shit. Like, that'd be awesome. But they look good. They look real good. Yeah. They definitely do. Very pleased with Marvel Legends. The, the last, like, few years, they've been really stepping up their game. And oh, yeah. I really don't have much of a complaint with anything. Yep. To be I'm right there with you. I am not complaining. Um, my my well, the one complaint is that they're just not making waves completely dedicated to each thing. Instead, they <laughs> keep, they keep on like, you know, a little bit of this, a little bit of that, a little bit of this, and it's like with the amount of figures that you're gonna put out anyway, 
You could have done waves dedicated to specific things and then go from there. Because <clears throat> I think it's easier for us as collectors, if you're going to do build a figure, build, <clears throat> build a figures, it makes it easier for us to be like, okay, I'm going to commit to this whole wave because it's all shit that I want. It's all related to this particular thing that I like. Instead of you having to cherry pick and then turn around and buy all the parts to make the build a figure if you're interested in the big the build a figure. You know what I mean? And I get it. It's that's the whole point of the 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 marketing ploy, you know, with build a figures and whatnot. You get people to buy a whole wave even if they don't want half the wave, you know, because they may want the build a figure and they may want a couple of characters in the wave. But uh I would prefer that they did it like Back in the day, Toy Biz used to release a whole bunch of waves that are all Spider-Man, all X-Men, all Captain America, you know? And you could be like, yep, I want all this. Um, and that would have been, to me, that would work better. Um, I, I'm kind of, a, it kind of gets on my nerves waiting for everything to be rounded out, you know? Because imagine if they had done a Thor Ragnarok wave, we would have already gotten the Grandmaster, Korg, Meek, uh, yep. Loki... Valkyrie, um, Scourge, we would have got all those characters. Fucking um, Hogan and maybe the Warriors. Maybe the Warriors three would have been a like a three pack. Um, I can't believe we didn't even get them. Like, yeah, they only made Sif. That's it. So like, it's not like these these. In Sif was the comic version too. No, no, no. They remember the the first ten years they did a two pack of Sif from the um, Thor: oh, Dark yeah, World. Did. Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. No, no, no. It's. I mean, I don't expect everybody to remember everything. I'm just. I'm a Thor fan. Like, so I remember. Like, people hated the Dark World, and I was like, "It's all right. It wasn't dope, <laughs> but it was. You know, it was fun. It was it, at the like time. Them all, I don't really care. Before. Yeah, I mean, I don't either. I just know, like, when you talk about it, a lot of people just diss the shit out of certain movies, and I'm like, when it was out, all of you guys went to see it. When the figures were released, all these folks went and bought them. Yep. So it's like, why dicks is it... Were, all, the, all those dicks were hard for that. For <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't make sense to me how, like, people diss this, this shit, like, in hindsight. Like, come on. You, you liked it. And there's nothing wrong with that, you know? But whatever. This is, this is the world we live in right now as far as uh, action figures go. But, um, yeah, I, I dug... I dug the Thor figures, and, and I wish that they... I dug all that shit, and I wish they would handle it differently. Like, when the movies came out, how come certain companies gave us the important characters from the films, whereas Hasbro would make, like, one character? You remember that? Like, when Cap came out, we got two versions of Captain America, and I don't think we even got a Red Skull. The whole yeah. wave, the wave itself, I think it was, like... Two versions of Cap, Nick Fury from the Avengers, a classic Thor, and a Thor from the movie, and that's it. And they were like Walmart exclusives or something. I'm like, wait, what? Why did you do this? There's someone else in there that I'm forgetting. But it was like, really? That's it? You could have done all these different characters. Like, we should have at least had the hero and the villain from the respective films. True. Because, I mean, like, Iron Man, they just kept making suits like every oh, every Nine wave stopped. yeah so tired of iron man yeah it was ridiculous man and it was like no one else got that kind of love now it's like okay now they're catching up with all that stuff but anyway we got a whole lot more to go into um let's talk about we can do some black series stuff because there's some weird shit that they're showing with this uh what is it called super hyper real darth vader or whatever um with the the weird metal skeleton underneath. Wait, what are they doing? I, I'll be honest with you, I haven't checked out any of the Black Series stuff. Yeah, so, I saw... Someone mentioned it on... i do this live with you. <laughs> someone mentioned... I figured... I only was going there because I figured you would be interested because you're the Star Wars dude. Um, I like some of the stuff, but, you know, I don't really care. But this is funny because Hasbro is jumping into territory that the more higher-end companies like to deal with you know mm. with this metal skeleton shit so like they're doing this wave this line called the uh, hyper real and it's like okay. an eight it's an eight inch scale line which i'm like why i don't need an eight inch scale anything that doesn't fit with anything i have 
But, you know, apparently they feel the need to do an 8-inch scale Darth Vader. And what makes him different from everything else is that you can't see any of the joints. Essentially, the, 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 the outer covering is made out of, like, a malleable plastic. And then the um, underneath that is this armature, like a skeleton, a metal skeleton with all the joints. Oh, okay, I can see the body now, under what's underneath. It's yeah. Good. You know what it kind of looks like? What? Underneath kind of looks like K2SO. I know, right? That's what I thought it was initially. And then, you know, the more I looked at it, I was like, huh, this is all right. But, uh... What? Good, go. What's that? Okay, cool. You gotta show me later. Um, yeah, it, it does look like K2SO. I was like, what? Like, what is... The, and then I, you know, the more... That's what caught my eye initially when I was going through all this Toy Fair stuff. I saw the weird skeleton and I was just like, huh, what is this? And, you know, then I remembered and I read and I'm like, oh, it's the, that hyper real shit. And it, it's a cool idea. I don't know if it's going to catch on with people because the folks who are really into the, the Black series are not always the same folks that are going to turn around and buy... Like the me the the fucking uh me what is it Mayfex version and the figure arts version. It seems yeah. like if they really love the character, they're gonna judge which one's better and get that. So like making an eight inch version, another Darth Vader, and you're making it eight inches, so it doesn't fit with anything you already have. It's 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 unnecessary. Well, and this is. Or I'm not trying to sound like a Debbie Downer here, but this this. While it's cute that they're doing it, this does not appeal to me at one bit. Because A, they've already made the Darth Vader's that I want. I have the SH figure arts version. I have a statue of him from Kotobukiya. I have I have the couple black series figures, the um, the removable helmet one, which was in wave uh, I believe the the earlier wave, the blue, black and blue card. Yeah, uh, yeah. I have the the Green's exclusive with the translucent head where he's being electrocuted. And then I have the one that came on the um, the anniversary line. Yeah. So I have this, and then on top of that, you don't, you don't know if this stuff's going to, you know, work. And then what if a joint breaks? And that, how are you supposed to get in there to fix it? Well, I think you can, judging from the skeleton they have on display, I think... And I could be wrong. Then, if you, like, if you pull off the hands, because he's probably going to have different hands. If you pull off the hands, I'm sure you could pull off the whole sleeve, and then you could get in there and fuck with the the joint. Um, That's going to be a pain in the ass. To oh do. yeah, oh yeah, I, I agree. It's probably going to be a pain. Um, and the joints don't look all that like well put together. I don't know. They look like no. I mean, it it looks fine. It looks it looks sturdy. You know, it will be because the the fucking, uh, the standards that, um, the safety standards that Hasbro has to adhere, like, U.S. toy manufacturers have the safety standards they have to adhere to, because this shit's gonna show up in, theoretically, it's gonna show up in a, in a store for mass consumption, and it's gonna be in a kid's aisle, so kids are gonna see it and potentially buy it. So they have to make it stand up to play, which means it can't just pop apart real easily, but then again, you know... It, it, it's weird that it's metal. I'm assuming this might be, and I could be wrong. I, I didn't look into it because I don't really care. But <laughs> I, um, I'm assuming since it's a metal skeleton, it's going to be... Um, Jesus, my computer is just not co cooperating today. Get the computer, I'll slap you. I know, right? I want to slap it myself. Like, what the I fuck? I'll slap the shit out of you. <laughs> <laughs> Like everything is moving so I will slow. Slap your motherboard, bitch. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! It might even it might just be that um the um let me see if that's done. That's what it is. I'm I'm uh, uploading my uh, my the Bumblebee video right now. Okay. So that's still. Uh, oh, that could be what it's what's, what's doing it. Yeah. So um. Yeah, that's probably the issue. Um, let's see. Yeah, I just don't, I don't know what it is. I just don't trust, like, I cast metal joints underneath the rubbery skin. And the other thing is, like, 
the the knee joint looks single jointed. Like I don't think this thing's gonna have a very good range of motion. I think that it depends on because figmas are single joints, right? But yeah. the single jointed figmas always have the full range of motion. They go past 90 degrees at the elbows and the knees. So I'm assuming looking at this thing, because K2SO is like that. I mean, I don't think he's single jointed, but like... Yeah, but they don't have an exoskeleton over it. No, no, That's I got you. Get, like, shit's going to get in the way. Unless that shit's all cloth, like Mezco, then it won't get in the way. Well, but if that's rubber, if it's like a rubbery plastic, that's going to be like thick. Well, it depends on how... Maybe they don't bend the way you want them to. Well, it depends or on how... if they do bend, they might not hold the position. Yeah, maybe, maybe. It depends on how tight these joints are. Because they're metal. Yeah. They're clearly metal. And if they're metal, they're going to have to have some like serious... Uh, uh, what's the word? Uh, uh, <laughs> God, what is the word? I'm with? Tension. Like, you yeah. know what I'm saying? So... Hopefully they'll they'll work. I mean, I hope for all the folks that love this shit, this Darth Vader is it makes all their dreams come true because it's just not yeah. my it's not my shit. I, I, it's yeah, it's not mine either. But each their own. If you like it, go for it. Yeah, it's it's too. I don't know. The it, the big thing is the eight inch scale. I mean, like everything doesn't have to be legend scale. But what I'm saying is like unless you collect the um. What were those those figures? The metal ones, but and even those are aren't those the same size as the? Um, I think they're more like seven inch. Yeah, like like, uh, like Diamond Select. Yeah, like NECA and Diamond Select. Yeah, that makes sense. So yeah, there's that. So you really don't have that much to put this with, unless you know you're planning on investing in buying all the shit you might already have in this scale. Um, but anyway. The only stuff worth talking about <laughs> with with, the, with with this is uh we got Mace Windu. Yeah. I'm I'm geeked. We got about the, the that. droids. Oh yeah, Roger Roger. <laughs> the, the Roger Rogers. Yeah, we got those guys. I'm geeked We're about Mace. More solo movie figures, which is great. Yeah, I'm geeked about Mace though. Mace like the motherfucking yeah. Mace the motherfucking window. I need that motherfucker. Mace the motherfucking window. I'm not yelling. This is how I talk. I know, right? <laughs> May the motherfucking force be with you, motherfucker. <laughs> um, we got <laughs> we got him. We got uh, young Obi Wan. Force wielded motherfucker, motherfucker. I know, right? <laughs> I know, right? Don't make me force push you, motherfucker. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, young Obi Wan. It's the one that says bad motherfucker on it. I know, right? The motherfucking purple motherfucking lightsaber, motherfucker. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but, um, we got young Obi-Wan, so we can have him with uh, Qui-Gon. We can finally have them facing off against Darth Maul, which they're re-releasing. Yep. The, um, we're actually going to re-release that at Obi-Wan in a, um, uh, a what do we call it, a episode uh, one card card. Art card, that uh, card artwork too. Huh? I don't care about the cards. You know me; it's the figure. Yeah, it's all the. They're figures. doing him and Darth Maul in that old style uh, Kenner. Oh, okay. Packaging from episode one. That's cool. So you have your option if you want that packaging, you can get it, or if you want the regular black series, you can get it. Yeah, that's dope. Cool. And then we got Yoda. Yeah, he's packaged with I forgot this dude's name. IG eighty eight. <laughs> Um, I don't give a shit about him. It's Yoda. I want a Yoda. I, I, don't, I always I missed out on Yoda back in the day. So yeah, that'd be dope to just have one, even if it is like super old Yoda. You know. Um, yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's really it. I mean, there's a Boba Fett for those who need Boba Fett. I don't give a shit. <laughs> They're doing young uh, Anakin as a Jedi, which is dope. Mm -hmm. um, which I'm trying to figure. Oh, that's just a, that's the Boba Fett's already released. I think they just showed. Just him. showing him again. Yeah, the, it's the re-release of the with the card uh, figures. Yeah, they're releasing them because they're very sought after. Not a lot of people. A lot of people missed out on them. Yeah, be. that's good. I'm glad they're doing that because a lot of companies don't go back and give yeah. you the shit that you know you may have missed out on. Which um, is stupid because you still have the molds. Why not do it? You know. And it's all money. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like if exactly. you already. If you want to make money three times off of one mold, why not? 
you'll pay off the... And the good thing is, with these, the archive figures, you're getting updated face scans, so the face scans look a lot better, the paint apps look a lot better than the first wave. Exactly. You're getting updated technology, it just makes perfect sense. I agree. Um, we're also getting Chopper and Ezra. Yeah, so I saw Ezra, we're, yeah. We're almost done. We all, all we need is Zed, and we're done with, with uh, Rebels. See, I didn't watch Rebels. I'm going to eventually, but I didn't. I didn't watch it. It just didn't appeal to me. And the few episodes I watched, Kanan stood out, so I mm -hmm. wanted him and uh, Hera. I still haven't picked up Hera yet. And uh, what's the one chick? The the Mandalorian chick, Sabine. 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 Oh, so, oh Sabine. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't. Um, by the time that I finally saw them in action, that figure had passed. You know what I'm saying? So. Yeah. Uh, and I, shit, I'm mad because I saw um, Asa Ashaka at um, Walmart years ago, mm -hmm. maybe a year ago or so. It was around the time that I picked up Kanan. And uh, I, I saw her and Kanan, and I was like, I'll come back. Maybe they'll be here later. And then I went back, and only Kanan was there. She was gone, and I've never seen her in the store since. So I might have to get them off of uh, Amazon or something. But, uh, yeah. You know, they, they, they all look pretty cool. Then they're doing the wet hair uh, Luke in the um, disguise. Yeah, crash compactor, yeah. Yeah, that looks cool. I was surprised because he has, <laughs> like, the the proper face. You know what I mean? Like, they, they did a good job yeah. with that. I'm, I yeah, mean, I like the, uh, yeah, they did a good job with the, uh, like, the kind of dirtied him up, too. Yeah. They're, they're doing a good job fixing the things that were wrong with a lot of these figures when they came out the first time. You know, the things that were lacking. Which I like. It's almost as if they're taking their cues from the Japanese companies and redoing figures and just improving the things that were faulty. Because, yeah. you know, that's you look at figure arts, you look at, like, Mafex. How many times did they do Wonder Woman before they finally got it right, you know? Um, so, it, it, to me, I'm, I'm, I'm impressed. Like, if you like Star Wars to the umpteenth degree, at least these figures are worth a damn. And now Hasbro is bridging the gap like it's like they're or closing the gap between them and the high end figures. So it's to the point now there's really no point to spending 80 bucks on one of these guys unless you just got to have the the like that 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 extra little bit of articulation, you know what I mean? Like and a little bit mm -hmm. more accuracy, a little bit more uh, accessories because these figures look dope. Like if they didn't make any other kind these could easily be the top of the line versions of these Star Wars characters, and you should expect this from the guys who made the original figures. You know, so yep. I, I gotta give them props. They did it. They're doing a good job here. Um, yeah, now, they're do also doing a Doctor Afra. Yeah, I saw that. And I, triple Zero. So yeah. that's awesome. Triple Zero is the black. Uh, three PO. Yeah. Yeah. It's the black three PO, and then you've got the. Uh, um, they're both assassin droids, which is pretty awesome. I like the, uh, it's cool that they actually included, I thought they were just going to give us a bare bones BT, but they're actually giving him, um, his rocket launcher and his, uh, his, uh, cannon. So it's pretty sweet. Let's see. Yeah. Bear with me folks, because my computer is choosing to be an asshole right now. I don't know yeah. if it's the site because probably He's getting fucked right now. <laughs> yeah. Probably all of us geeks are on, t you know, we're online right now looking at this shit because toy fair is about to be what done. Yeah. So, um, maybe that's it. My timing is bad, but yeah, I see what you're talking about. That looks cool. Yeah. I just like, you know me, I, like I said, I'm, I'm not, I'm not as hardcore into star Wars as some other folks are. It's just not, a lot of the stuff only appeals to me on like a very topical level. I've read a lot of stuff, but nothing stuck with me. And the stuff that stuck with me is not the stuff that they're making toys of right now. So, um, I like. We're also, we're also getting the uh, the Jump Trooper, and that's a uh, GameStop exclusive. Let's see, Jump Trooper. Yeah, I he, see him. I was just yeah. looking at him earlier. He comes with like a jump pack, and he comes with a. Um, the regular uh, rifle. Blaster, yeah. He looks cool. I like that helmet a lot. Looks good. All right. And then, of course, we're getting uh, General Grievous. General Grievous. I, fucking amazing. Yeah, I was on that earlier. I was waiting to talk about him because that's a definite, that's a must get for me. Yeah. I can have Kamen Riders fighting him. I can have uh, Qui-Gon, and, and uh, even though Qui-Gon was dead by the time this dude popped up. Um mm -hmm. 
it'll be cool to have them in a in a, a, a display. I know people are cringing right now, but whatever. Fuck you guys. Um, <laughs> they're toys. I like playing with my damn toys. Um, it'd be dope. Also, it's just cool to have them, like, because I have all this shit on the shelf. Like, one long-ass shelf. I have my solo stuff, my episode one stuff, my... Uh, uh, Force Awakens and all that shit like the, you know, I have mostly like First Order stuff from Force Awakens and uh, what's her name? Um, good Lord, Phasma and Kylo Ren with the face mask. I have those guys all together. So it just looks cool seeing an evolution of the designs because that's, yeah. ma that's mainly my interest. It's like from a design standpoint, when you look at the bad guys and you see like this is what the Empire used to look like this is the first order, and then you see all the in between. This is, you know, it's it's pretty cool. The, the only thing I'm really kind of let down was is that there was no reveal for Count Dooku, and it's like, come yeah, on, yeah, where is he at? Come on, man! Like, why is this taking so long? Like, <laughs> why why are all the prequel characters taking this long? It shouldn't take this long. But you see what I'm saying? Like, shouldn't they? I feel like just the way that these figures were released the first time, the three and three quarter inch ones where they had like power of the force and they focused on a certain era and like yeah. they should do that in the black series. Like the, the first year should be all like, I don't know, a new hope stuff, you know, second year could be all, you know, empire, empire, third year, return of the Jedi, you know, fourth year episode one, you know, two, or just say prequels in general, yeah, and, you know, do it that way because that way, you know, as a collector, if you want, if you enjoy this time period, I mean, it's Star Wars. Generally, most Star Wars fans love all of it. They don't love the new shit, but they love, like, all the rest of it. <laughs> it's kind of <laughs> fucked up, but it's true. Like, they don't love the Disney era stuff, but they typically love all the Lucas stuff. You know what I mean? So it's yeah. like, if they're going to release Lucas shit, then they know it's going to sell. Just do it. Do it. And then have the real haters that are like, I only like the O the O O T. That's yeah, it. yeah. I mean, but still, like, if it, you would know, like, this year they're gonna do maybe half, you know, O T, half prequels. Maybe half will be, you know, uh, uh, renegade or what is rebels, and the other half will be, I don't know, you know, Force Awakens or something. But at least you know what what to expect. The way they're doing it now is they're cherry picking so much that it's kind of like. You really got to keep watching for your guys to pop up, you know, if you like one era over another era. And I don't know, maybe that's the strategy. But here, there's no Build-A-Figure. So there's nothing forcing you to collect everything. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, I don't know. That's just my take on it. I I'm just... hoping for a, uh, a subline. Yeah. Uh, I want a subline specifically, and I'm going a different route here with this. I want a subline specifically being exclusives, whether it's Walgreens exclusive or whatever. Mm -hmm. And I would love a subline for just the comic book figures. Like I, I know yeah. we're getting Dr. Afro, we're getting some of them, but I'm talking like the stuff that's not canon anymore. Like because we're not like there's a whole ton of thousands of people, thousands of a thousand people that want that, and they're just yeah, not I do getting. too. That's that's the shit I'm talking about. I want my Quinlan Vos. I want my yeah. fucking. Uh, Dash Rendar, yeah. I, I want my um, Shizor figure. I want. There's a whole bunch of old characters that I want figures of, but I don't think we're gonna get them. I mean, we probably will because they want money. So <laughs> they're, they're eventually they're gonna do it. But, I want Darth Malgus. I can't. I like. I can't believe we haven't gotten. Yeah, him. yeah, that'd be awesome. And they did Revan, yeah. so they better do Malgus. Yeah, uh, yeah, true, true. But so, hopefully, hopefully down the road, hopefully. we will see. Hopefully they'll do it. Um, let's see. Let's talk some NACA. Oh boy! Now I'm honestly, between Marvel Legends and NACA, they like they almost win every year. Those two, <laughs> <coughs> they really do. Like NACA just really just comes out with some great shit every year. I just. Now, I'm not going to focus on the horror stuff. I don't give a shit about the horror stuff as much. I don't know if you're as geeked for all of this as some folks. I'm super, some stuff I am. I'm super geeked about like all this Alien and Predator shit. Oh, yeah. Like, finally we're getting a pwn and the fucking uh, Cobra. Coming element. out soon. Should yeah. Like, March or April. Yeah. 
I've been looking forward to that figure like a motherfucker. I almost went and got all of the original Kenner figures. I, I keep finding lots on uh, on eBay. And I was like, man, I need to get these because, I mean, I'm finding them for cheap. Shit, I found a couple of the figures for cheap on uh, Amazon. So I was about to go get those. And then when I saw the Apone figure, I was like, fuck. Ha. Huh. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna have to um, get that because Apon was easily one of, one of my favorites in the line from back then, like way back when. Um, yep. I'm really excited about Touch and Lynn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I I adore the fucking AVP Capcom game. Oh yeah. <coughs> Let's see, Classics Assortment. Hopefully Coming we'll... out with. Um, well, I'll just run through the stuff that you don't care about, like the the horror stuff. Um, okay. They're out with uh, the uh, They Live Alien. Oh, yeah, that. yeah. I want that. Yeah, that looks awesome. I Hopefully, you know, they can get the rights for Roddy Piper down the road. I know that's going to be tough because WWE technically has his rights right now. Mm-hmm. But since he, I, I think there's something like where they have to contact the family to get the yeah, rights. So yeah, yeah. It all depends on what contract he has with Mattel. And then what contracts are, or what he's allowed to do, or what the family's allowed to do with his rights after that. So, uh, but hopefully we get it because they have to. They have to give it us uh, him and uh, what's his name? Uh, what the fuck's his name? His buddy in the movie. Uh, oh, Nada and uh, I forgot his name. God, why did I forget his name? It's uh, he's played by a. Uh, he was in. He was in uh, a whole. T- oh my god, so many movies. He was in Requiem. He was in. Um, he's the voice, uh, Peter <laughs> David, something David. Um, what is his name? Fucking uh, God, he's the voice of Goliath. Um, yeah, his last name is David. What's his first name? Fuck. How do I for, How am I? How are we forgetting this? I don't know. I, I can't. God, we're getting old. What the hell? I, we, I yeah. <laughs> I'll I'll tell you exactly. His name is Keith David. There we go. Keep the, God, have you seen M- Meg Foster? Holy shit. What happened to her? I mean, I know she got old, but holy shit. Jesus. She looks like a completely different person. She looks like an android. She looks like a Terminator. Yeah, like like she looks like she was super hot when she was young. Now she looks super mean and scary. Um, well, she, had, she, she always had those, like, those, those eyes. Eight- Blue eyes. Yeah, like, yeah. I don't think there's any blue eyes in this world that rival her blue eyes. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's like ice blue, just straight and up she had scary. Red hair with blue eyes, like she looked just great. Yeah, yeah. Yes. And even in what was it? She was in Hellraiser. She was in like a bunch of movies. She was Evil Lynn in Masters of the Universe. Yeah. Like she, I, was, I mean, she just, I mean, she's just older. You know, she's an older woman, but. She just looks like she had a hard ass life. Good God, <laughs> for real. I mean, like she looks like I like I've worked with like you know some chicks that were in the military and stuff, and they have this certain edge to them, and she has that look right now. Yeah. Her um, her uh, just I don't know, and I and I've seen them put it to use in some horror films, and I'm just like, woo. Yeah. They, you, who I always confused her with, but I don't know why. But the only the only reason I could I could really uh, uh, tell apart the two for some reason when I was a kid this was when I was a kid uh-huh. uh, was her and uh, Christy Alley <laughs> and I was always like oh there's Meg Foster I'm like oh wait no they do look similar I, Christy Alley, Alley had she had pretty eyes too she was the one that used to always fluctuate from like being real heavy to being like yeah. real thin. Well, in the eighties and nineties, she was always thin, mm-hmm. and then like it, when she hit the two thousands, it was a wrap. Like it was all downhill. But I thought her. throughout the nineties, she was up and down in her with her weight. Because <coughs> I, I remember her being interviewed about that a lot. Yeah, because you know Hollywood would always make a big deal. Like if she gained five pounds over whatever she was in the last film, they're like, "Oh, you're fat," and it's like she still <laughs> looked good. And then it was Fucked a point. Up, man. <laughs> yeah, I know it's terrible. I mean, that's the way they. Unfortunately, that's the way Hollywood handles business it's all about this yeah. weird unattainable standard of beauty True. but um i don't know she she was definitely unmistakable yeah unmistakable you know like she was hot back in the day 
Yeah. Um, if you look at photos from her in the seventies, holy shit! I know, right? Oh, fucking gorgeous. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Yeah, she was dope. Um, let's see. Um, There's a whole bunch of like Pennywise figures coming out, like versions, different versions. I'm so stuff. sick of seeing fucking Pennywise. Like I'm, yeah, I, I am tired of seeing his ass. Like they need to stop. But I know he makes money, so I can't, I can't diss them that much. They're they're in the business of making money, so. Um, they're also coming out with some Michael Myers stuff because um, the last uh, movie just came was out. Was it Halloween Two is coming out? Uh, Halloween Two is coming out in seven inch form, which is awesome. Mm-hmm. Uh, what else? Uh, there's a, a one four scale figure. I'm just kind of talking about. It. I'm not going to actually get it, but mm-hmm. um, also some Goonies figures coming out in the the real cloth styled figures with uh, sloth and chunk. Yeah, I saw those. Uh, there's uh, also uh, we're getting some some Godzilla characters. We're getting oh, yeah. uh, Mothra, Rodan, Godzilla, Rodan, yeah. Mothra, and yep. Godzilla. I actually like. I collected some images because at first I was gonna do a uh, like a clip show type deal. Mm-hmm. Then I was like, "Fuck it! I'm just gonna do this the old fashioned way, where we uh, I record us going through the pictures online." On Toy Fair, on Toy uh, Arc, I mean, like we normally. Do. Oh, okay. So, um, yeah, my bad. I should have told you that. That's why I was complaining about how slow my computer decided to run right <laughs> now. Um, but yeah, the the Godzilla, the new. These are for the new movie. It looks dope. I mean, seeing what, um, what's his name? Uh, what or her name? I'm sorry. What uh, uh, Mothra is gonna look like. That's pretty dope. Yeah. I was pretty surprised, and uh, I guess I'm kind of adding to the secret because I'm, I don't have that bookmarked for some reason, which is pretty sad, but I'm just going to leave that one so you guys can find that one later. Um, it looks dope, though. I was surprised because I didn't think they were going to redesign her that much, but what they did was, since uh, Mothra starts out as like a little caterpillar looking thing and then turns into one form and then turns into the next you're getting a couple versions of it and i'm all for it redesign the fuck out of these characters as long as the essence is still there i'm good because i mean that's the point you want to be able to look at them and immediately recognize this is godzilla this is mothra this is rodan you know what i mean this is mega Gyrus, this is uh you know uh Manda, this is, you know, you want to know when you look at them who all these different monsters are. And so far they've succeeded, so I'm all about it. Yep. Um, I can't find the NECA AVP uh, fig, uh, cart, comic book, I mean, shit, video game figures. Where the fuck did they disappear to? Maybe they weren't on display this year. I don't think they were on display because they're coming out this month. Yeah, they they should be released by the end of this month. Yeah, I can't wait stores for that. by March. Um, so how do you like your? That's um, the only reason they put them up. Yeah, how do you like your turtles? Oh my god, they didn't get me started on the turtles. I will segue to the turtles in a second, but there's the more. Uh, oh, I wonder hear what you thought about the in resurrection figures. Fuck them! I don't want. I don't want a single one. <laughs> I hated Resurrection. I'm getting them. Oh, I'm getting, I'm getting the fucking newborn. I'm getting I hated them. They, some of the the only one I like was the aquatic. What is it like a swimming warrior predator or some shit like that? What do they call him? Yeah, yeah. He's like he's like swimming. Yeah, they I like, like a sw- I like the look of that one because his head actually like he has a long enough neck that he can look all the way up. Yeah, and like that's cool because you could pose him running at them on all fours and stuff. But uh, I have no alien NECA figures. I have fucking, like, four... I have Ripley, three Ripleys, and uh, Vasquez, and I have no aliens. So I need to get up on that. Because I was mad. One time I had... Uh, I reserved the um, uh, the Queen, and then they ran out. So um, I just... You know, they were like, oh, we'll, we'll hit you up and give you an email when we get more in stock. And then I just canceled the pre-order and was like, fuck it, I'll just, you know, I'll find it later. And then ever since I, you know, I couldn't find it for the price that I was going to get it for initially, I just kind of didn't think about them. <laughs> and then nowadays, whenever I go to Big Fun, I see them there for 
a little bit lower than what they're going for, uh, what they would be going for at like Toys R Us. And uh, yeah. I just keep on dodging them. I need to just start picking up a couple of them. I mainly want the ones that are the Kenner throwbacks, like the, the Gorilla, the Mantis, the Bull Alien, the, the King uh, Facehugger, the um, Cobra. Um, I dig all, or Snake, I think he was called the Snake Alien. I dug those designs because they were... Yeah, snake Alien, Scorpion Aliens coming out. Yeah. Um, the fucking, they all look really good. The King, because they were unique. They weren't. I hope they re-released the, uh, the eight. Alien. Yeah, me too. Gorilla alien, excuse me. Me too. Me too. I really hope they do. Because those look really good, really well done. Um, the sculpts and the colors, it's like, it's unmistakable who they're trying, what they're trying to channel. You know what I'm saying? Like, sometimes when companies do throwbacks, the presentation of the current version doesn't really lend itself to the the throwback aspect, you just know because the design is the throwback. Like, I'm looking at Mini Mates and fucking uh, whatever those Funko reaction, I think they're called. I hate those fucking figures. Those five points of articulator. <laughs> they just don't look as good. Like, how do you do a skinny He-Man figure? Like, that doesn't even make sense. And there's people like, it's awesome. I love it. Like, come on. It doesn't even resemble the character. It's skinny and stiff. It looks like... He-Man done in the 70s Star Wars kind of feel, you know? And I don't... Nah. <laughs> it doesn't work for me. Um, yeah. Just like Funko uh, Pops. Like, no. Doing all my favorite characters, you know, our favorite characters in this weird, super deformed style that doesn't really resemble the character. Uh, you got to do more. Um, some of them look a little bit better than others, but... It just feels like you're missing something, you know? Like, just do a full-on yeah. bobblehead. Like, I don't know. Pops, <laughs> I, I'm not a fan of, like, Mighty Mugs. It's, Mighty Mugs are by far the worst because there's not even any sculpted details. It's all just painted on. It just looks dumb to me. But uh, I don't know. I'm going off on a, on a tangent, but, you know, it's not my thing. Um, so what about the, um, did you see the dog, the runner alien, the queen hugger, face hugger? I didn't see the queen Pat, face hugger. The, the dog comes with an extra head. Yeah, where his face is like falling off. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Ugh. Um, and then the runner is like the smaller version of the runner alien. Uh huh. And then it's got the queen face hugger too. It's a pretty cool huh. pack. I'll have to check them out. Yeah. Looks good. Looks really good. I think these, this part of the um, where I'm having slowness with everything loading up. Oh, here we go. I'm going to have to, uh, <laughs> I'm going to have to, uh, fucking use the, the, the audio and then put the clip show in that part. So I'm going to be, I'm going to be editing this shit forever. Um, but, uh, the Ninja Turtle stuff. So we're getting two packs at Target of all the, the San Diego, what was that? 2017, Comic Con exclusive turtles and foot clan. Yeah, it was the it was the, the cartoon the cartoon ones. versions. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then one of the packs that's going to eventually come out, probably at the tail end, is Bebop the cartoon Bebop and Rocksteady. Wait, oh wait, before we get to that, can we talk about? I know he's one four scale, but did you see how fucking awesome he is? Who the, the shredder? Alpha, the Alpha Predator. Oh yeah, yeah. I did. Did see you? That. See, I might actually get it. Hold on, it let's might be see. the only NECA one four scale figure I get, but that shit looks fucking awesome. Let's see. He's got like he's got like a bone gauntlet. Yeah. And he's got like a bone spear made out of all different types of bone. Yeah, he looks he's, awesome. It's like albino. He looks amazing. And then his his mask is an actual skull of another alien. <laughs> it's friggin' sick, dude. Let's see. And like his, like all of his armor is made of bone from other animals and stuff. It's insane. Yeah. So is he from like prehistoric times? Is that what they're uh, saying? That's what he looks he's like. From, he, I had to do so. I had to do some more research on him, but I'm pretty sure that he's um he's a part of a uh, the, one of the Dark Horse uh, stories. Yeah, and he looks like he was here during prehistoric times because you're seeing all these like skins and 
bones of like shit that you know jaw pieces of of animals like bigger predators that would be on the earth yeah. at the time it's a dope design yeah, it looks awesome god i fucking hate I just, you i just wanted to bring it up there no no i agree i i'm definitely down for that they're also doing um some more uh aliens uh, or i'm sorry alien cast members so you get more people to kill off <laughs> for your aliens to no, kill the, off. he's one fourth scale though oh he is you're right holy shit i didn't even realize i'm that. like why did they do that yeah <laughs> okay nix that shit um, Why him? Of yeah. all people. I know. Like, make him seven seventh inch scale. So yeah. we can just put the rest of the no 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 no, no the no spromo crew. Make what? Dallas in his regular suit. Make the rest of the crew in their in their suits. Yeah. Because nah. all we got was the we got Dallas, we got Lambert, we and they were all in their space suits. Yeah. So it's like come on man, put them in the regular stuff. I just where, want to... where and where the hell is um Ash, come on. I don't know. I don't know. I just want um this Kenner A pole. I don't. I just. I don't know. I just want Kenner A pole. For real, man. I don't even. I don't even care about the the Alien movie stuff because that you know it's a classic and all. But I was into Aliens and I was into the Space Marines Dark Horse stories and I dug this toy line. Me and my brother played. With these figures so fucking much when we were kids. So, just seeing this guy makes me happy. Yeah. Down to the fucking, uh, what do they call him? What are his sneakers called? Stomps? Or Stompers? Yeah, yeah Stompers. Like, that's fucking dope. I'm like, man, because the original had those too, and it's like, man. They actually paid attention to these details. Mm -hmm. uh, what about Bob Ross? <laughs> <laughs> Painting some happy little trees. Just paint a beautiful little happy tree. <laughs> but the Ninja Turtles, cartoon Ninja Turtle two packs, amazing. Uh, oh, you don't what? You just want to skip over the Golden Girls here? Come on. <laughs> yep. <laughs> 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 I, I have good memory. I have awesome memories of the show, but they're not going to join my collection. I'm just, I'm just kidding. All right, we can move no. on to the. the fun no, I know. Fun. I know. Um. <laughs> No, they look great. These these two packs look great. Because I actually, after getting the movie Turtles, I was like, huh, maybe now I need to get these because I don't have the cartoon versions at all. Yep. And I think they're done right. Yeah. All the two packs I have zero issue with. I don't mind that it's not a tur a tur uh, two turtles. Yeah, yeah. Other. I want everything here. Yeah. <laughs> Including Bebop and Rock City, which come together. Yeah. Which makes perfect. I want everything here because it's all the the playmates line, pretty much. Yeah, right it's here. like that first that first two three waves of the original play, playmates li um, wave or line, and they they look fucking phenomenal. They look just like they did in those first six. It's like the pilot episodes of the show. Yeah, and that's what I the like. Foot clan soldiers look like. They're supposed to, you know, kind of hunched over and that yeah. kind of pro and kind of look. Those big old peanut heads that they had. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and like. And then Frang looks great. Yeah. Shredder looks fucking awesome. I agree. They all look good. They all look so good. Yeah. I'm geeked, man. It seems like no one does this, this cartoon style with the outline as well as NECA. Yeah. Like, they know exactly what to outline to make it look like the cartoon cells come to life. But I'm geeked, man. I, I saw these because I was just, I swear, you and I had talked about it. And uh, I was telling Little Strident the same thing. I'm like, man, I'm going to go look for these. And then someone a couple days ago posted, maybe it was the Foosh. I think they were the first ones to break the story. And they posted this, and then it just popped up everywhere. And I'm like, what the fuck? Two packs? What? Yes. The, the, probably the only downside is that they're 50 bucks a piece. It, it is rough. But I'm still going to. I'm. I'll get uh, it. But I don't care. I, I'll spend $250. I mean, it almost makes me want to just spend the 250 on the box set and just get it that way. But I guess. Yeah, true. I mean, I don't know. We'll see. I've never spent. Considering the amount of figures you're getting, six inch figures, I'm like, okay, I get it. It kind of yeah. makes sense, you know. And these are NECA figures too. 
Um, my only gripe is that most of them are roughly the same size. Like, the turtles should be a lot smaller. That's probably my only gripe with the movie turtles. Is mm. that, like, if you stand them next to, like, Dutch or something, they're the same size, same height. And they should be, like, four or five inches tall compared to the human beings who should be, you know, five and a half, six inches tall. Yeah. The turtles well, it's the package they're propped up. I know, so, but I'm talking about, like, the movie figures. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what you mean. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's my gripe with them. Because, like, they're, they're the same height as my Arnold figures, like, from Terminator and shit. I'm like, they shouldn't be eye to eye with fucking Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> like, that doesn't make sense. <laughs> but um, I still love them. They, they, they did an amazing job with them, you know. Um, I guess it makes sense because my favorite turtles of all time are still the red uh, headband ones from that NECA did many, many years ago. It literally, for me, sets the bar for everything else. Like, there's so many lines that um, Playmates has done, and none of them touch that first bunch of turtles that NECA did. You know, and for so long, those were the only turtles that NECA had released. So, yeah. And thank you, NECA, for... Do, for Finding you know, a obviously way. Obviously, they, they had to have, like... They had to have been hugging fucking playmates to get this done. Yeah. And they got it done. So thank you, NECA. Yeah. I'm a, I'm a Turtles dork, man. When when everybody else was like super hardcore into their Marvel and their DC and G.I. Joe and shit, I was collecting Ninja Turtles. Me and my yeah. best friend, that was most of the 90s. That's what we were playing with. That's why I wasn't into Ninja Force and I wasn't into, you know, all I the other it. shit. Fucking ninja, you know, you yeah. know how much I hated fucking ninja. Force. I didn't like it either because it didn't fit, and it was like they were trying to pull from this kind of shit and trying to somehow insert that into the Joe world, and it it doesn't really fit that much. You know, army men are army men. It was just a shitty cash grab. Mm-hmm. That's all. Well, mm-hmm. It was <laughs> exploit. Oh, ninjas are the hot thing. Let's exploit the shit out of it. And just yeah, oversaturate it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and it wasn't even done right. It was done horribly. Yeah, I know, and I know there's people that would would argue, but for my taste or for our taste, that wasn't enough. But the turtles were just weird enough and original enough that you know, thirty plus years later, we still want toys of these guys. Just just the name alone, like I know, teenage mutant ninja turtles. With so many different quirky, odd things coming out in that time frame, but it's all because of the turtles. Toxic Avengers, yeah, Food Fighters, and all these other lines. Like <laughs> Snailians. <and> turtles. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> fucking, all fucking. this stuff. Like, that's the one constant has been Ninja Turtles. Yeah, Ninja Turtles is probably the longest running, like, in the, it was independent for a long time yeah. before they sold it to Nickelodeon. So, yeah, I got to give them props. I love the Turtles, man. And, and this version, this is just what proves... The point that I made when Rise of the Tur actually when Out of the Shadows and stuff came out, or whatever the the newer TMNT movies came out, yep. and then again when Rise of the TMNT came out, yep. all that shit where you deviate so far from this simple ass, already completely weirder than anything else that's on the market right now, like. This is simple and direct and original. As soon as you deviate from that, you've co- you've created something else. That those versions are not going to be around thirty years from now, because I guarantee you the next thing, the next once that se- you know is done, once that series is done, someone else is going to try to re- reinvent the turtles again. Yeah. And in that year, they're still going to be selling these turtles. You know what I mean? This design. Because this shit is timeless. They did it right. <laughs> yeah. But um, you were saying something about your NECA turtles. You said you wanted to se- segue into the NECA turtles. What were you going to oh, say yeah. about them? What, uh, what, what did I say? Remember I was asking you how, how, are you, how you feel about your NECA turtles. <coughs> the movie oh, ones. Yeah. Well, I have a couple little quirks with it. Uh, you know, it's... it's I'm, 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 all the typical, like, NECA corks that it has they, they have as figures aside um they're really great figures I, I don't really have 
too many issues with it. Uh-huh. I think um, some of the like the strings that they use, especially for Donnie, I, I just wish they would have used plastic instead. Yeah, yeah, I agree. The strings just come undrawn far too easy, and it is a pain in the ass. You have fucking man fingers. You know, super glue the knot. Not- try- tie that shit back together it's i just tighten it on the rope put the staff in <coughs> tighten it I on the staff different type of teasers to do it because my hands are too fucking fat but what i'm saying is like once you get it in get the staff in there tighten it pull the staff out and super glue the knot and yeah. then then you won't have to deal with that shit ever again <clears throat> i've had to do that with like 12 inch figures i've never done that with the smaller figures but you know, there's a first time for everything, I guess. Um, I don't know. I'm blown away with them, man. I, I know they're not the most posable figures, which is another reason why, on top of looking at these NECA Toon Turtles, I was looking at uh, the Figuarts Turtles. Mm-hmm. Because I know they're going to be um, super articulated, even with shells and stuff. And, you know, they engineer the fuck out of their, their figures. They don't... They don't just release the figures, you know, however. <laughs> Bless you. That was a sneeze? No, it was a cough. I'm oh. still sick. Getting over your cold? Yeah. It was like a flu, and now it's a cold, and it won't go away. It's, you know. I know. It's never fun. And this weather has been so inconsistent. It's like, fuck, man. Um, yeah. But, yeah. Um, they're not super posable, but they're freaking posable for the design. You know, yeah. look looking at them, you'd think they'd be like real stiff and kind of hindered, but they emote real well. Um, I like the fact that even though each of them didn't come with like four sets of hands like the big ones did and like yeah. the previous ones did, I think they came with like two or three sets of hands a piece. Instead, yeah. they spread them out across the four. So since they're all the same color, you can f- switch, you know, out the hands whenever you want to and, you know, use whichever ones with whichever figure. So that's dope. Um, the faces, though, man, like the, the sculpts are so. We watched the movie the other day because Little Strident was like trying to find stuff to do. I think we watched it yesterday, and uh, looking at the oh, movie, this is something, and maybe you'll maybe you'll agree with me because it's probably a nuance with the heads and the movies. I pointed this out, and people are like, no, 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 and arguing with me, and I'm like, I don't really have time to argue with you. Go back. But <laughs> with some of the eyes, because they were mechanical, they were kind of cross-eyed a little bit in certain scenes. Yeah, there's parts where they were. Like, Leo would sometimes, when he would make an angry face, his eyes would look cross-eyed a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You could tell. Due to the mechanics of the head. Yeah, well, like, the, the yeah, the, the animatronics. Yeah, there were parts where they, yeah, it was, like, slight. It wasn't, like... Yeah. It wasn't like Dragon Ball Z cross eyes where it's like no, they're, no, no, they're no, literally no, no. looking down their nose. But no. The yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I know what you mean. Because one of the uh one of the playmates Leonardo the heads for the playmates Leonardo has the the weird face, the eyes and everything. He has the big teeth sticking out. Mm-hmm. It's the it's the scared face when Shredder flipped him over and stuck the staff at his neck. Yeah. He had the cross eyes and the teeth all sticking out, and he looked. St- I'm like, why the fuck did you make that one of the heads? <laughs> you know what I mean? Because like that's the head that is on the figure when you buy him, like in the package. And I'm like, that's like you want a triumphant, like determined face. You don't want like the weirdest scared, scared face on your ninja, tur- the heroic leader of the turtles. <laughs> like who the fuck okayed that? You know what I'm saying? Like. And yeah. then Donnie's head, oh my god. Oh yeah, and Donatello, where his eyes are going one way and his face is going the other. It's like, yeah, the, the, the and in my <laughs> review, I have to, yeah, I'm going to straight blaze those, those uh, Playmates ones. Because there's things I like about the Playmates ones as far as articulation goes. Because there's a lot of articulation points where they kill the NECA ones. Mm-hmm. But, um, you know, and, and like, the, the engineering of the articulation. But, yeah. but the, um... The overall sculpt and the lack of paint, and it's just no, no, <laughs> no. Yeah. No, so, no, no. There's so many things that they just were like, uh uh-uh. uh. I mean, I love the fact that they gave them three sets of heads, they gave them all their weapons, they gave them like, you know, pizza and, and donuts and shit like that, you know, all these props. That's awesome. 
but your core figure was missing all this shit to make it look and feel like the movie. And it's like, come on, guys. All it needed was like a little paint, a little more sculpt work, some texturing, and you'd be all, it'd be there, you know? And it's yeah. all stuff they're capable of because the little five inch figures had that shit. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm going to, because I have the original rubbery movie figures. I still have my Leo and my Raph from way back in the day, the original movie star turtles. And uh, so I can at least compare and you could see where the NECA guys got it. But Playmates themselves did not get it. You know what I mean? Like, it's weird. Yeah. Playmates, they did it 20 years per prior. And then later on, when they had the second chance to do it and do it better, they didn't get it. And also, I've got a picture of there was a net uh playmates was gonna do some uh comic book ninja turtles in this style of those classics the movie classics figures yeah so they were gonna do them with the red headbands and the brown uh elbow and knee pads and stuff and for some reason they just never did them um and they they looked just as good as the NECA ones except they just didn't have the cartoon lining on it you know what i mean so I was like, huh, I wish they had brought those out. I mean, Mike had a chain in his on his nunchucks. Um, everything looked good. They looked just like artwork from the cover of the old Ninja Turtle, the black and white Ninja Turtles uh, comics. But I don't know. There's a lot of stuff Playmates had been doing over the years where I'm just like, what? Why? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, did, you, you know what to do. You guys, like, had the world on lock with Ninja Turtles. Like, you know what to do. Why did you stop? But, I don't know. The world will never know. <laughs> they never know. <laughs> it's like they just fucking phoned it in. Yeah, they don't care. I, they, they just don't care like they used to. But, um, NECA's, uh, foot, um, what's his name? Shredder. The one-fourth scale Shredder looks fucking oh, amazing. Oh, it looks so good. I Like, I really wish I was into these one-fourth scale figures, because I would get that shit. The foot Me soldier too. also looks amazing, too. It's the first time we're seeing him that accurate in figure form. It just, it's crazy, because he's a ginormous maquette of a figure. So, I don't know. I mean, it's dope. I'm praying that somewhere down the line, I mean, I know first world problems, I'm praying for a figure, but um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm hoping down the line they release it, you know, in six inch or seven inch scale. So I can have him, you know, fight my turtles, you know. Um, but yeah, NECA is really, it just, they've never really failed to blow it out, of the, blow everyone else out of the water. And they still remain the reason why I'm so hard on everybody else. Because they do movie properties too. But when you look at their figures versus like, you know, even Marvel Legends and stuff, there's like a level of detail that NECA gets that no one else gets. You know what I'm saying? Like... Like, Absolutely. They put gloss paint in the areas where you need to have gloss paint, and they don't overdo it. The figures don't usually look toyetic, as the you know as the phrase goes. They look like the guys you saw on screen, and I don't. It's it's just weird. They pay attention to materials. They pay attention to semi gloss, gloss, uh, you know, flat, matte, whatever paints, and all these different types of paints help give you the impression of these different fabrics. And it matters. You know, a lot of companies either do flat or gloss. That's it. NECA puts, like, gloss on the eyes and lips, but then the skin will be flat. So it feels, you know, real. It doesn't feel fake. You know, when all these things are playing against each other, it feels more realistic, you know. And they don't always do shiny metal. They do dirty metals and stuff because sometimes in film, metals are, sh they're, they have a shine to it, but it's more of a, a flat shine, if that makes sense. They're reflective, yeah. but they're not like super reflective, you know? Yeah, exactly. Kind of like, uh, yeah, like Robocop. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and he's even prismatic somewhat because he had different colors in the metal. Because in the beginning yeah. of the movie, like a, bu a blue hue. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But, but like when you look at like the Enforcer Predator. He's just silver, and it's a flat silver. It's not like super gloss finish. It's yeah. like kind of flat. Or like, um, did you end up getting too thick? No, I already had him. Remember, I I got the um, oh. I got the enforcer when he first came out. Oh, that's right. You did have. You don't have the bad blood one. That's yeah, right. I don't have the bad blood predator. I'm gonna get him eventually. I'm yeah. I'm straight bootlegging all of those guys because there's no way I'm gonna pay you know 
almost a hundred bucks for any of those Predator figures. There's no way. <laughs> but but you gotta help people and give them lots of money. No, I'm gonna help little kids in China that make action no, figures for no, a no. living. You gotta help the scalpers. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, there's there's no way. I I was thinking about it a while back. I was like, man, it's weird. People get on uh, some of these bootlegs so hard, and I'm like, but you do realize that it's not really that. Um, it's you're you're over, you're really seriously overpaying, and there's no point to that, you know. But um, I don't know. I'm I'm gonna some of those figures. I gotta I gotta redo. Now we gotta talk about Mezco, because as okay. mu- as much as I am kind of like. Like I, I'm, I don't like, Met, like I said, their customer service sucks. There, it's like there is no customer service. Um, yeah. <laughs> um, because <laughs> they literally just told me pretty much yell at my comic book store uh, dude, the owner of the comic book store, because they're like it's his fault the figure broke, and I'm like no. No, it's it not. It came packaged like immaculately packaged from your facility, and his my Batman my uh, Dark Knight Returns Batman's cloth cape or costume was ripped. It had a snag in it. So I was like, that's that's on you guys. There's no way, because it wasn't open, it was sealed, and it was the previews exclusive version. So I was like, there's no way that that's my comic book store, their fault. But anyway, they keep pulling me. This year, I think there's going to be a handful of figures I'm going to get. I'm getting Blade, I have to. Did you see the, the version at the, the Comic-Con version, or Toy Fair version of Blade? Uh, oh yeah. Uh, no, I actually didn't see it up close and personal. Yeah, I'm there's... going from right now, um, but I do have on pre-order Blade, and I do have John Stewart. Oh, okay, cool, cool. I really want those two bad. Yeah, I'm. T- um, and I also get that Keaton back, and that yes. Keaton Batman. That's why I had to talk about it because I was like, you remember I was saying like, there's like three or four Batman figures that I kind of want to get because yeah. the more I look at them, the more they stand out because he just seems to get all the love. It's fucking ridiculous because I I want to have a classic Batman, so I want to get the Ascending Knight. I I don't know why it took me so long to finally just be like, fuck it. That Sovereign Knight Batman looks so good. He looks dude. so good, and the blue and gray one with the unmasked head that kind of looks like Keaton. Yeah, I want that. Like, I at first I was like, eh, I don't know. Then I'm like, fuck. <laughs> like, I might have to get that. And like, then there's this Keaton bat shows up, and I'm like, man, they're doing Keaton bats. Like, and he looks amazing. I mean, it's such a simple design, but it looks amazing. I mean, it it almost looks like stills from the fucking movie. Yeah, it's so good. Um, I. Shit. <laughs> I mean, I was actually going out uh, before I saw the price. I was going to pre-order Cyclops, but I, I just can't pay a hundred dollars. It's just too much. Well, for Cyclops, you said? Yeah, I can't. I can't do that. I don't like that design, man. He's too skinny, and his... well, there's two versions. There's the the PX exclusive, which is the '80s version, and then there's the '90s one too. So they're doing one with the bl- the white and blue costume. Yeah, same thing with cable. There's multiple versions. I've seen of the cable. cable. I've seen the cable because there's the one from like Marvel versus Capcom, and then there's the um, mm-hmm. you know the the the, the neck. The, I mean the Mezco version of that. Yeah. Um. God, this Keaton bats looks amazing. I'm sorry, I'm stuck it's on this. <laughs> I'm, I'm stuck. staring at Blade right now. I yeah. Just, I can't wait to it. Yeah, I need the blade figure too. You should look at the um, look at the con- the toy um, toy fair exclusive version. He comes with like the bald head and the flat top head, um, and both it's like there's a there's like a standard face, and then there's like an open you know with your fangs bared face. Um, you can take the glasses off on all the heads. His, he doesn't come with the trench coat though. Instead, he has this cool shirt with the armor built into the shirt. And it's got like red panel lining all over it. Uh, it's nuts. I was like, "Wow, okay." <laughs> like it. It I, at first I didn't think they were gonna do that. You know, I didn't think they were gonna do an exclusive blade. Yeah, I was surprised. I didn't know it existed. And then there's a version of the Sovereign Knight that doesn't have all the panel lining that the uh, the ones we've seen have. 
He only has it around his like biceps. Mm-hmm. And it could be the lighting, but it looks like he just does not have any of the muscle lining and stuff on his costume at all. He has the knee pads built in. He has the crazy gauntlets. He looks more Arkham City like. Yeah, like, he does look very Arkham City. Yeah, it's like it's like a cross between Arkham City and BVS. Like it, it doesn't have lot panel lining though. So I mean that's pretty cool. I like, don't mean to go off on a tangent here, but wouldn't you love a NECA Arkham City Batman? Oh my god. Yeah, I would love that. Because they have oh. the, the Mattel and the DC um direct or DC I think it was DC Direct and then it turned into DC collectibles during that time. Um yeah. it's I, I only have I have villains from the DC collectibles. Actually, that's not true. I have side characters, but I don't have Arkham City like Batman from them. I have the Mattel version, which I think is better than the the DC collectibles version. Um, yeah, he just looks better. Like, he, and he, he has more articulation and stuff. Even if parts of it are kind of hindered by the sculpt, but uh, yeah. I would love to have NECA do it, or even Mezco. I mean, Mezco, it'll be overpriced, but, you know, it would be cool to have that. Um, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm kind of impressed. This Mez, they need to get this Mez shit out of here. Nobody wants that fucking giant ant action figure. Oh, yeah, I don't know what that's about. Go I Mez. Get, <laughs> get, I, get that shit out of here. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, I know what it is. I get it. It's the dude. It's a character that the guy who created the company made up. But get nah, sorry. Uh, oh, I see. Like, like nah, I'm I'm good. No, thank you. I mean, this, the the skull head's kind of cool, but uh, I mean, it's, yeah. Hellboy looks fucking great. I just don't like that version of Hellboy. You're looking at the movie one, the new movie Hellboy. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. I I don't like it. I don't like the jacket on that one because I have the old Mezco, um, you know, Guillermo del Toro versions, and like, there's so much uh, detail on that design just in his jacket, man. Like he's got like the straps on the big, the bigger hand, the hand of doom mm-hmm. uh, sleeve. It's like the sleeve has a cut down the center of it, so like it's wide. And then there's like a big strap that goes around it. So he could put the whole arm through the sleeve and then you tighten the strap and it pulls the two sides of the sleeve together. So you understand like that's how he gets his hand in, in the other. The, he has a custom sleeve for his oversized hand. How does that Hellboy put on his coat? I mean, it's a little detail and it sounds like a nitpick, but it's like it kills the believability. Look at his two sleeves. They're exactly the same. How the yeah. fuck... What the, is it all made of stretchy cosplay material or something? Like it is it a bad? Well, it looks like it looks like the uh, the one like it just looks like they're both cuffs are very oversized. So like if you see the the other one, it's large on his smaller hand. Like the cuff looks like puffy, so it looks like it could fit over his hand of doom. So maybe he's just got really big cuffs. I don't know. You still need even if the cuffs. Were slightly oversized the sleeve itself for that hand would have to be ginormous like there's no because it's like that even in the movie and i was like what the fuck like how how did we get here like it doesn't i think for the toy it looks worse i mean the toy looks better than the film the toy i see what you're talking about he's because it couldn't you couldn't close the you couldn't put the sleeve on if it wasn't bigger yeah. but in the movie the coat is like regular size yeah this toy actually looks better than he looks in the movie <laughs> jesus christ <laughs> oh my god it's weird because like I, I was talking about this with one of my friends on uh uh facebook a couple months or what like a month when the movie trailer dropped was that last month sometime and okay. uh i was like yeah there's a lot of things that just don't do it for me and it's mostly proportion things but yeah this looks good because you know with the toy they could have even gotten away with making both sleeves the same size because you could literally pull the hand off, put the sleeve, on, put the coat on, you know, because the rest of his arm is the right size. It's just the hand. Um, yeah. But um, it's it's a proportion thing because also on the uh, original one, the hand, the cuff of the hand goes 
it takes up the same amount of space as his his other hand. You know, like when you're looking at his hands side by side, they fall in the same spot on his body on both sides. It's just one side is oversized and the other side is not. This yeah. one, you can see it's longer. Like his, his, his right arm is longer than his left. I don't know. There's a lot of weird things about that where it looks like a cosplay. It doesn't feel like... Um, like Hellboy. But this is me as a, a character designer and shit. You know, see, seeing other, more, more of the details. But I'm going to review the Mezco uh, Hellboy, you know, two, one and two figures. Because I have a little, I have most of them. Um, that year, I, I made so much money at uh, Chicago Comic Con or at, uh, what was it? Wizard World Chicago. So, like, I set aside a chunk and I bought... So do Street Fighter figures, and I bought Hellboy figures. And uh, I think I bought everything I saw except Samael. And I didn't see um, the clockwork version of, uh, what's the guy's name? Uh, the Nazi dude with the claw- with the blades in his hands. Fuck, what was his name? Oh, yeah, 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 I know what you mean. Krieger or some shit like that. I can't, Cron- yeah, yeah. Cronin, that was his name, Cronin. Cronin. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I didn't see the clockwork version, which is what I wanted initially. So now I have a Nazi in my collection, but it was cool because I was able to make a old school, you know, World War II Captain America kick his ass. So <laughs> it's just fun. <laughs> but um, yeah, Mezco is knocking it out of the park. Uh, I'm a little bit, and I'm kind of mad at it because I don't really want, <laughs> I don't want their extreme prices and stuff to be warranted. But, like, the Jon Stewart figure looks amazing. Uh, the Harley figure, yeah, the, cl- the classic Harley looks really good. Um, that Hellboy figure looks really good. Dark Side looks amazing. Um, Wonder Woman. Holy shit, the Rebirth Wonder Woman. God yeah. damn, that figure looks dope. And she has all the articulation that the movie Wonder Woman doesn't have. Yeah, <laughs> so, exactly. you know, and then the armor looks awesome. I mean, oh, shit, man. It's like, I'm going to end up, I'm going to end up spending so much money on these figures. God damn. <laughs> I don't want to, I don't want to buy all this shit because I, I know I don't need it, but I'm going to end up getting a, a, a nice chunk of uh, Mezco figures because they just, it's like a lot of times because I'm an artist I'm seeing it as like a three-dimensional piece of art. I mean, technically yeah. it is, you know, but that's the way I feel about a lot of these things. When the sculpts are on point, when all the parts kind of work together for the whole, it's like a piece of art and it works perfectly and it makes seeing this level of, of detail at six-inch scale, mm-hmm. it's like, fuck, man, I, I just want to own some of this. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, Keaton Bats is a must-get. Sovereign Knight Batman is a must-get. Blade is a must-get. Um, God, that Keaton Bats, though. Holy shit. Yeah, that's a that's a big one. And there's nothing wrong with the Mega one. It's just like... It's yeah, it's just... A- I think I'm to the point where I'm so... I, I'm so, I, uh, That Batman is what started me collecting action figures. Mm-hmm. So... Anytime I see the Dark Knight Collection stuff, like anything Dark Knight Collection, I'm I'm geeked. Anything from that '89 Batman, it's just yeah, yeah. It takes you back. It's like pure nostalgia. And I know sometimes nostalgia is like these days it's a weapon. That's what they use to get us. But I just I can't. I don't know what it is. I can't not pay attention. Now on the flip side, though, I feel like this figure might not last the test of time. Like, he won't stand up to the test of time because of the, the, the materials. You know, he's, like, mostly pleather, it looks like. Pleather and plastic. And it looks yeah. like, over time, if, if we have a hot, which we probably will, have a, a ridiculously hot fall or, like, a, <laughs> you know, because everything's out of whack, mm-hmm. we're going to have a, either a hot fall or, like, part of summer is going to be meh, and then the end of it's going to be super hot. Um... It's well, gonna, then on top of that, dust and... Yeah, it's going to fuck up. It's going to fuck it up. That's the issue, that's the, the major issue I have with most uh, Mezco figures, is that they're just not going to hold up the test of time. Yeah. Like, it's going to break down, unless you keep them in your package, which is what the point. Um, yeah, exactly. You can't, you can't enjoy all this stuff. What, what, yeah. might, what I might do is, um, 
there's sprays you could get to spray down the um the material so mm-hmm. that it's a little bit more durable it helps like add to the lifespan you know mm-hmm. especially with pleather and like rubber um there's like matte finishes that you can spray on top of it or or gloss finishes to get it to kind of protect it from the uh you know the elements and shit i might yeah. do that with this and then that'll make me play with the NECA one more because the NECA one right now <clears throat> i have because i have two of them i have the purple one that i did my first custom like six inch custom of them because i repainted that and i have it in a case <laughs> like in the back in my back cave shelf in a case i might end up having to <laughs> pull that out and put that thing in there and uh i have the the regular NECA release that came with the um the blu-ray on my movie you know dc movie shelf so um yeah this will probably make me like utilize those other ones more um, yeah because i don't see myself really throwing this thing around and setups and all that stuff but it just looks so good. And you know he's probably going to come with multiple heads. And... Oh, yeah, easily. He's got to come with, like, a... He's got to come with, a, a, like, a Bruce Wayne head. I wonder if he'll come with a, a, a alternate chest so you can do the Returns uh, costume. Maybe. He... Or, the, you, know, you know what they'll do. They'll just release a Returns Yeah, a Returns version. Because more so... That's one of the ones we need because I don't think anybody's done a Batman Returns um, Batman with the with the the weird armor. You know how he, in Batman Returns he didn't have muscles like anatomically. Yeah, he had, like, it was kind of like a, a Xenomorphs got uh, like an exo armor. Yeah, it was like it looked like, like that. it looked like, more robotic. Like this looks more yeah. organic. The other one looked like armor. Like it looked like. Like, I, uh, I I still I like both armors. Me too. I I do prefer the eighty nine if I have to choose between the two. Yeah, of course, just because it looks more organic and it, it's more of a throwback to what Batman is supposed to look like. What he looked like in the comics, except they just painted him black. Like it's it's crazy. Exactly. exactly. It's it's crazy because like you know we people complain about costumes and accuracy and all this shit, and it's like you look at how good this looks. And you just think about it. If you could paint this gray and black or gray and blue, and it still would get the point across, you know, mm-hmm. you could you could leave the, the the cod piece and change the color of that, and it it still will um, give you the impression of the the trunks without actually being trunks. You know what I'm saying? Like, it just works. <laughs> it just works. But yeah, Mezco man, they uh, shit, they're pulling me in. I'm like, man, I don't I don't want to do it. No, and they're like, yes. And then they're like, oh, here's an 89 Batman. And you're like, fuck, I have to fuck. do it. <laughs> it's, like, it's like, oh, oh my, my God. God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. It's true. It is true. Um, the Punisher looks cool, too. I, I At first, I didn't want it, but... Mm-hmm. I think this figure doesn't look that bad. I think he looks great. Yeah, he looks great. He does. Um, I I would have preferred the comic book version, but you know this looks really cool. I'm not going to. They're going to release more comic versions down the line. That's like their best seller. Is is fucking Punisher? Yeah, probably. He's he's had more versions than I think even Batman at this point, and he sells out every every, de- every time. Ghost Rider, I need this. And then we talked about this last year. Oh my god, yeah. With this the bike. Insane. I'll pay that I'll pay whatever that extra is. I don't <laughs> care. It's gonna be like two hundred dollars. I no, he might be less because I mean the Judge Dredd was less. Remember he was like one ten or something like that. I guess. But I that hope, was then though. That's true. Like, Judge, Judge Dredd also was only forty bucks. Well, one, one, I think one of the versions was. Remember, there were two versions. It was like the comic book accurate colors, and then there was like a... Or the, the modern comic colors, and then the classic comic colors. And one of the two... Like, one was green, and one was blue. Mm-hmm. And I think the, the green one was the cheaper one of the two. Or maybe the blue one was the cheaper one. I can't remember. I just remember one of those two was cheaper, and then there I was... I got the black one, the traditional-looking one. Okay. 
That was for I got to pay forty one bucks for it okay. on big toy store. Huh? Because he just wasn't selling. I was about to say maybe at the time he I, wasn't selling. Um. Well, yeah. Then his um, him and his uh, lawmaster went down in price too. I think it went down to like ninety bucks. I so should. I guess it all depends on how it's. Out. I'm sure Ghost Rider is going to sell better. Than him. Yeah, yeah. Of course, of course. Because they refuse to sell the the ones that we want. Like, everybody who's been reading... Everyone over the age of, like, 18 wants Dan Ketch Ghost Rider. With the, with the, dope, yeah. the dope fucking crotch rocket with the crazy, you know, plate on the face of it. And they refuse yeah. to give us that. Like, they refuse. They've, they've, Marvel's done even had to go back to that look for the bike, even though Johnny Blaze is riding it. Because that's the most iconic look for the character. It doesn't matter when you started reading him. Once you see it, you're going to be like, fuck, that, that bike is dope. And they, they refuse to do it. So, like, to give us their own rendition of the bike, and then, uh, you know, a, a kind of a cross between Dan Ketch and Johnny Blaze, like, come on, like, that's perfect. Yeah, it's always Danny getting the shaft because it's either the new Ghost Rider or Johnny Blaze. Yeah, but I, I, I would, I shit, I'm, I'm down for this. I'm a huge Ghost Rider fan. I remember a couple years back, I had to go searching for this volume of books. It's called Ghost Rider Resurrected. There was like a collected volume where they had the first. It's like the first run of Ghost Rider, but like when I was a kid, my best friend got it. I, or did I get it for him? I think we found Ghost Rider Resurrected for my best friend, and it was like this big ass like omnibus of like the first, I don't know, almost first a hundred issues of some close to it, first fifty issues or so of Ghost Rider, like the original Ghost Rider from. Javier Salteras in the 90s all the way to, um, or late 80s, all the way to Mark Texeria all through the 90s. And uh, I think the, back then it, that, that volume was like 50 bucks, you know, something like that. But then over the years, they split the volume in half. So instead of you being able to just buy this big-ass hardcover of all these books, you have to turn around and hunt down two volumes. I didn't realize it when I was hunting it down at first, and I had the guy at my comic book store look it up. He was like, oh, it's two volumes. I'm like, what the fuck? I remember it being one. <laughs> like, where did, where's the other volume? And he's like, oh, well, no one has the other volume. So I've been hunting for the second volume for a long time because most places only have the first one and not the second. It's, it's like me in the uh, G.I. Joe um, collection, the hardcover collection series. Yeah. I find volume four or five. Yeah, it's no weird. I think when if we do have it, volume four for some reason goes for like over a hundred dollars. Yeah, that's what I was, I was about to say. Million. It's weird. It's so weird. Um, I don't know. Some of that stuff gets on my nerves because it's a lot of work. <laughs> it's so much work. Mm -hmm. But um, what was I gonna say? Yeah, Mezco's pulling me back in, man. Fuck. Where are all the Mafex photos? I don't know. I can't find any of them. They could be under Bluefin. Bluefin? Why? Because that's the distributor, I think. I could be wrong, but I know there, there's a specific distributor that does, like, Figu Arts and uh, Mezco stuff. I mean, uh, Mafex. And, like, like, most of the Japanese stuff. Or you might just have to look for Marvel... Uh, Oh, the Mafex stuff, I'm sorry. Mafex stuff was shown at the um at the Wonderfest. Oh. Yeah, the the Winter Wonderfest. So a lot of that stuff didn't pop up. Not Bluefin. I don't know why I said it. Bluefin is for Marvel Legend. I mean, uh for Figure Arts and like all their related lines. Um Yeah, cuz that Cyclops and the Wolverine and yeah. Dude, that Cyclops. He looks dope. My my just my only oh. problem is that I just bought the Cyclops. You know, we just got that Cyclops from Marvel Legends. And yeah, but this one makes that one look like a piece of shit. I won't I mean it's not that. Come on. It's not that like. This not that looks terrible. like it's straight out of the pages of Jim Lee. 
No, I wouldn't say it does. I, I think because his, his proportions are different. His proportions... Yeah, but he's always had those long legs. Yeah, I know. He's tall. That's why they call him slim. I know. It's just he... Um, I think he fills out the costume better, which is cool. Um, because the, the strap is not, like... You know, when you first get Cyclops out of the package, like, nothing is fitting the way it's supposed to. Yeah. Um... <laughs> And I hate that. I'm like, man, why the fuck? Why is this a thing? Um, he fills out the suit better. Um, and it, it's, I don't know. I, I want it. Don't get me wrong. I want because I'm, I'm a Cyclops fan. Like, he's my favorite X-Men, hands down, period. Classic Cyclops all the way up to the 90s. Like, after the 90s, they fucked him all the way up. And it's it's just not interesting reading them doing that generic thing that has happened in the 2000s all the way to now, where, like, if you're a good guy, they have to make you a villain. They have they have to break your, you know, destroy your name and make you a villain, because supposedly good people are just boring, you know what I mean? Like, it's, it's not fun to, to, to look at those characters, and that shit pisses me off. It's like, it's kind of generic, you know what I mean? Like, kind of really generic. But, uh... Yeah, I hate that shit too. Fucking hate it, especially with Cyclops, the fucking leader of the X Men. It should be he should be the the measuring stick. Yeah, exactly. So yeah, um, I don't know. Um, I'm gonna have to uh, figure that one out. Like, see if we can find. I don't know. I'll have to look at him more. I just feel like he's gonna be um, like looking at him compared to the others. He's not as um, Oops. Mayfax. He's not as compared to the Marvel Legends one, he's not as um I don't know, man. It's hard to explain. It's the musculature. He looks like a very slim version of what we already got for Marvel the regular Marvel Legends one, you know? So it doesn't quite have the um like his upper body looks like the Marvel Legends one, and then his legs look real thin. But because everything is double jointed and he's got like fucking uh you know the the butterfly joint you'll be able to get him to really get into those poses the fact that he has extra hands i could do all the stuff that i wanted i was talking about in the the other you know the jim lee cyclops uh marvel legends review mm -hmm. and that'll be dope because there's a lot of poses that i wanted to be able to do with him that i can't he's probably about the extra head too yeah yeah like unmasked with the glasses on um, or screaming face with uh, optic blast or something. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, there's there's a lot of reasons to get him. I, I'm I'm not trying to diss him. It's just that it's so cl well. Actually, we don't even know when this figure comes out, do we? Oh, I have no idea. Yeah, I, I don't either. And I need to just let me look. Probably end of this year, maybe next year. Yeah. But there's RoboCop coming out. They've got uh, some of the Kingsmen coming out. Too. Yeah, I've seen those. Yeah, they've got a John Wick. That looks really good. Yeah, they've got John Wick too. Yeah, oh, yeah, the John Wick's like hundred dollars. Yeah, well, so one of them is. It depends on where you buy it too, because I I have him pre-ordered, and uh, I pre-ordered him at pre-ordered him at a specific place that is not charging. I think they have him for sixty. So and I was see like, that. I, I, could, I can work with. Yeah, I was like, I could do that. Um, and I think also it depends on if you buy him from a Japanese retailer because what's going to happen, though, is that I'm paying 60 for him and then I'll have to pay 20 for shipping. Be mm. If you want him in, like, two days because they always ship DHL. So it'll come in, like, two days and you pay 20 or close to 20 for shipping, which I fucking hate. But... Um, you know, anything else, you'll be waiting for months to get them. So it kind of yeah. depends. So um, hopefully, because, like, I, strangely enough, I didn't do that with uh, Psylocke, the Revel Tech one. But she came really fast. She got, that sounded so bad. She she got here really fast. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah, the, 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 the X-Men figures from Mafex look dope, especially since they're comic book style. You know what I mean? Like. Yeah. Movie figures look dope, and we see that Mafex, they definitely excel at the movie likenesses and stuff, because that's the point. That was the whole point of the company. But they're killing uh, Marvel Legends in terms of what they're offering when they uh, 
give us a comic book accurate figure. Like, so yeah, we'll we'll see about that one. I, I I want it. Don't get me wrong, I want it. It's just timing. It's like if it comes out this year, I lit we literally just got Cyclops a year or so ago, right? I would actually prefer. I agree with you. I would actually prefer him to come out next year. Yeah, like give us some time in between. Like Wolverine, they released th these images of Wolverine, and we literally just got Tiger Stripe Wolverine. Like yeah, I, that Wolverine, I don't care about. I just want Cyclops. Yeah. Like I said, I said to you a couple days ago, like if they ever make a Mafex beast, I'm gonna be all over that because that thing is gonna be the most poseable beast. Oh ever. hell yeah! Oh hell yeah! Oh my god, it would be amazing. Mm -hmm. Hell yeah, he'll be by far. He'll be the most poseable uh, beast that we've ever seen. Ever. Yes. Um, <laughs> yeah, I, I I'm I'm geeked about that. Um, we've got uh, Tamashi Nations with a little bit of figures. They got like Street Fighter Blanca. Yep. And uh, he comes with, like, some effects and stuff. Um, mm -hmm. And uh, I think he's the only Street Fighter release that they have coming up the next year or this year. I think he comes out next year. I could be wrong. I was really hoping for Guile. Me I too. Really hoping for Guile. Um, strangely enough, Storm Collectibles is releasing their Guile. Yeah, so. who cares? <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Like you know me, I'm not a fan of uh, of, of Storm collectibles. I mean, their guy looks good, but that's just not my my st my shtick. They're not yeah. as posable as the figure arts. I mean, it's just a fact. And a lot of people are trying to, um, you know, collectors are all wowed by the paint on the figures, but they're not paying attention. The materials kind of suck with that rubber chest bullshit. And, and then uh, the rubber diaper. Yeah, it's like it doesn't sit on the torso, right? Exactly. Yeah, so it's Ugh, it looks like shit. They're not engineered as well as the figure arts are. I mean, and most figures aren't. So you know, I, I'm not impressed by that crazy paint job and shit. Damn, we've been on here for a minute. It's eleven o'clock. I didn't even realize that. Dude, was, there's a lot to talk about. I know that's true. That's <laughs> very true. <laughs> I'm just surprised, like, holy shit, time flew, and I didn't feel like I was talking, I told, I told my wife, I was like, yeah, I'll come eat dinner with you guys in a little bit, because I'm thinking we were going to have, like, we'd talk about a couple of these things, and, you know, yay, we're done, you know, nope, nope, <laughs> nope, like three hours later, um, god, why is everything running so slow, and my computer is not a slow computer at all, and I'm sitting here waiting for shit to so, go through, so it's weird. I hate when that happens. Um, but, uh, yeah, they're doing Cowboy Bebop figures um, and and Harry Potter figures. I'm not a Harry Potter person. I love Cowboy Bebop. Um, seeing them do, uh, you know, Spike. And uh, I always forget this dude's name. His, uh, his rival, uh, the, the sword-wielding dude. <laughs> I suck. My bad. I can't remember his name for the life of me, but uh <coughs> oh, who? in Cowboy Bebop, um, there's a dude that uh I'll be able to tell you in just a second. His name is uh Vicious. That was his name. Yeah. There's a dude, he uh he's like a dude with white hair, trench coat. Um mm -hmm. and I think he's like a, a triad boss or something like that, or a triad enforcer or something. And uh Spike uses guns and this dude uses a sword and in the movie at the or not the movie the series at the very end of the series they have this ridiculous fight i'm not gonna tell you how it ends just in case you want to watch it because it's so worth your time but uh it's dope it's so dope but yeah this spike spiegel figure looks dope i'm like man i, I need this um what else let's see oh uh or do we segue to Transformers? Transformers? Yeah, Transformers. Yeah, that's exactly where I was going. Um, yeah, we need to talk about Transformers. Holy yeah. shit! Yeah, I, I, I actually am buying Transformers now, and it's all your fault. <laughs> <laughs> It's all oh. your fault. I blame you. <laughs> I, I am responsible for that. I will. I will take it. I will take it because it's worth it. It's, it's strange. Like they finally gotten to a point where they're trying to uh, like stand up to the the third party figures. And I know a lot of third party you know collectors are going to be snobby and you know diss the shit out of their um, you know what Hasbro has been doing with Transformers because you know you have that. 
But if you're so not... It's like those people <clears throat> that buy, like, San Diego Comic-Con exclusives. Yeah. And then and you got guys like me, and they're all bragging about it. And I'm like, guys, just don't get, don't get ornery about not getting these. They'll be released down the road. Exactly. And every single exclusive has been released in a single card form down the road. That's true. So, even the, even the Turtles now. Yeah. Bells will never be released. And look, they're all being released. That's true. So, I don't know. Some people are so weird about it. I, I just feel like people just don't want to look, don't want to feel stupid for either A, spending a lot of money, or B, going out of their way to spend a quote unquote hard to get or expensive or an exclusive. Yeah. So, yeah. I just think a lot of collectors don't like to look stupid. I think it's more of a. You know you fucked up. <laughs> yeah. Like, you know that you fucked up and you jumped the gun on this shit. And you don't want people to say anything about it. You know what I mean? Like, you know you should have waited. You know that the shit would have uh, it, it would have lasted. It would have popped up later. And instead of you waiting, you jumped the gun. And now, you know, you've been proven wrong. And it's one of those things where either way you still win because you have this cool thing. You just jump the gun to get it. That's all. Yeah. But, you know, it's tribalism. You know, you, you either you're with those who got it first or you're against them because you didn't get yours yet. You know, and it's, yep. it's dumb. But either way, the Transformer Siege figures look fucking nuts. Like Omega Supreme. <coughs> I yeah. never got Omega Supreme. And this is one I'm probably going to get. Jetfire. I have the original Jetfire. Mine is missing an arm. Um and I, I lost all the other shit, like the, the weapons and the the armor and stuff. Um, so I have, like, part of a jet fire. <laughs> and this is the G1 jet fire I'm talking about. I still have that. Um, but I wanted, I've always wanted, a, 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 a like, an updated version of the figure. And we're Prowl getting Prowl is coming out, too, this month. Yeah, Prowl's coming out. Yeah, Red Alert. Um, Impactor, for those of you who uh, want to get the Wreckers. Um, mm -hmm. And he looks great. He looks great. I mean, that was funny because I was listening to JC talk about these things. And I'm like, God, JC, why not just have one of your people who knows this stuff talk about it? Because he struggles through these, these... Number one, he struggles through everybody's name. Unless it's like Star Wars or, you know, Marvel. Um, he just mispronounces the fuck out of everything. Um, and then it's like... Like, like... like someone else? Like Nika? <laughs> Nika. Um, <laughs> it's it's just it's painful sometimes. I'm like, dude, just get someone who knows to talk about this, or ask someone. You you got you got a whole bunch of sites where you could just jump on and say, hey guys, how do you say this name? And you'll get all the answers, and the majority will tell you which one is right and which one is wrong. But or the, they'll tell you the history or the importance of a character. Because I mean. Isn't that what the comments is for? <laughs> That's kind of what they do. And I guess I really shouldn't talk shit since I butchered like half the fucking Mythic Legion's name. So No, I mean, but at the same time, <laughs> if, if someone pointed out to you that that was the name, you would, you would, you know, take heed. You wouldn't just be like, fuck you, I'm going to say it like this. <laughs> so, I don't know, but my, my biggest gripe is when you don't know. Like, you... In, in this day and age, we all, um, a lot of people rely on, like, Wikipedia, or they go out and they read this stuff. If you're not going to go out and read this stuff, at least watch other reviews, you know what I mean, on these characters, or Wikipedia the shit, or something. You know, like, people who review movies, but don't listen to the actors when they tell you what their names are. Mm -hmm. Like, people still calling Gal Gadot, Gal Gadot. And she says her own name. She's not French. She's Israeli. So it's it's a hard T. You know what I mean? It's not soft like in French. And she says her own name in interviews or in, uh, you know, whatever. You know, when in, in TV spots. She'll say who, what, how you, you, you just listen and she'll tell you. And so many people are still mispronouncing her name, like on purpose. It's like, oh, uh, really? Anyway, I'm going off on a tangent. It's a pet peeve of mine. Mm-hmm. Because I, I deal with that shit. My name is is phonetically spelled. You know what I mean? It, you, you pronounce it exactly the way you say it. And, uh, I mean, you you pronounce it exactly the way it's written. Jesus. 
And uh, <laughs> so many people fuck it up. And I'm like, it's old English. It's not even some other language. And they're like, what? That's English? And I'm like, yeah. It's, it's old English. <laughs> I, I don't know. But anyway, Omega Supreme looks dope. He's ginormous. I, I almost it's can't believe. He's four inches tall. Yeah, I can't believe that Hasbro is doing this. But, they, I mean, they've done it with their combiners. And they've done it with uh, Metroplex and Fortress Maximus. They did like their own like new school versions of those guys, and they were all pretty big. So I think this time I might have to jump in and get Omega Supreme because I don't like the. Now, what is it? What, is he really 160 bucks? Yeah, he's huge, man. Oh shit, he's huge. And I mean, you think about it. He turns. He's a motorized tank with a track and a rocket. You yeah, know, so yeah. he's like a whole base, and and he also comes with like a. A legends sized uh you know little transformer to go with them so sure it's, it's it's like you're it's a lot it's and it's it seems like it's worth the price you know a lot of times when they overprice these things you don't the reason why i always point out that it's overpriced is that you're not getting anything for the price you know it's like sometimes like uh sh figure arts will release figures like thor for instance from infinity war they his cape is cheap because it's a, it's a soft goods cape that's kind of cheaply made and it's like frizzy you know what i mean instead of being something really like the superman cape from the dc films uh line that that didn't really last mm -hmm. that superman cape is awesome and it has a wire in it that actually works and the cape itself is not easily ripped or torn or anything it's like really nice material so you understand why you're paying 40 for that figure as opposed to the $20 you normally pay for a DC collectibles figure. Sure. Um, but when you're looking at like some of these Infinity War figures, these Marvel um, movie figures from uh, figure arts, it's hard to understand why you're paying the premium price. You're not getting that different of a figure. You know what I mean? He's not, sure. he's not, Very. he's not better engineered. <coughs> He doesn't come with, like, all the heads from all the movies and all the, you know, interchangeable parts to make him look like all the different versions of Thor over the years. But they want 90 bucks for him, and they made him an exclusive. And it's like, but he's a key member of the team. Why the fuck would you do that? Um, I hate that shit. When, when fucking figure arts that exclusive It pisses shit. me off, man. It's it's the main thing that I hate about that line. Like, like I wanted to get, what was the figure arts, Flygon Jin. I wanted to get that. Yeah. Nope. Exclusive? Nope, hundred and ten dollars. Yeah, he's a Tomashi Web exclusive. Yeah, it doesn't make sense. It's just a way for them to charge extra, and it's like, well, how about you give us more engineering? How about you give us more die cast in places that might be prone to breakage if they're made of plastic? How about you give yeah. us like so many more accessory parts that we get to do new stuff, different stuff with him that we can't normally do with the standard forty dollar release. But they don't do that, you know. So, and I've noticed with Marvel, it's become one of those things. And I know they got to pay for that license. So, you notice the big jump in price from like <laughs> your common riders to your Marvel figures. But the common riders are built better, you know, and they have more detail on them and more accessories, and they just do more. And then you look at the Marvel figures; they're basic figure arts, and they always go for like twice the price of the of the, the Japanese domestic figures, which I'm just like. This is weird, you know, and I, I understand the business end of it. There's a price, you know, a certain per percentage of that price goes to Marvel, a certain percentage goes to Bandai. I get it. But at the same time, it's like, do something to let us see the worth of that, you know, thing. But in this case, with these guys, once again, Hasbro, I mean, like, the third party market has been doing all these characters for years. Because they saw where Hasbro was lacking. So now Hasbro is like, fuck it. We got to bring our shit up to snuff. We got to get up to the same point. Well, and it's like a quarter, it's like half the price. Yeah, yeah. That's true. It's like some, some of them are a quarter of the price. Exactly. Like some of them are 20 bucks. Some are 30 which I don't agree with Optimus Prime being $30, by the way. Yeah, me neither. Me neither. They're, they're not necessarily that much bigger. They're seven inches tall. Why are they thirty dollars? Yeah, and he doesn't do anything, you know, yeah. different. There's no extra pieces. There's no like gimmick. It's just he doesn't even come with a trailer. Yeah, 
I don't get it. I don't get it at all. Um, like if, if they wanted to do like 30 bucks each for like maybe, I don't know, 11 inch figure, like Jetfire. Yeah. But 50, he's like 70, 80 dollars, I think. Oh, Jet Figure's huge. And Jet Figure, I think, is going to be almost 100 bucks. Jetfire is 80 bucks. Oh, he's 80? He's oh, 80. Cool. He's 11 inches tall, yeah. Cool. I'm going to get him. I'm getting them. I haven't looked into their pricing at all. I just knew when I looked at the pictures, I was like, I'm, I'm down for this. <laughs> I'm like, I don't care. I know normally I'm like real hardcore about like the pricing and shit. This time I was like, yeah, they kind of found my, my, my thing. I, I loved watching the old Transformers cartoon, you know, the G1 cartoon. And I, mm-hmm. I missed out on a lot of the figures, but it didn't really click for me until fall of cybertron and then more for cybertron that's when i was like yeah this this right here they they fixed all the things i had issues with with the 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 origin story of the transformers Mm -hmm. and and uh now seeing hasbro actually embrace that because for a long time i was like when are they gonna embrace this they said the game is canon like that is the origin that is how they get they left Cybertron, and that's how the war played out, and all that shit. And it, it this that game's so so good. I was playing that all day today. Oh, you got them? Cool, cool. Yeah, yeah. They're, man, I played four. Yeah, like I like I think the first time I played it was at your house, and then I ended up buying it um, later on after I got you know, not too much later on after I played it at your place. But yeah, it's just so good. The voices, man. They got like actors that kind of sound. They got the actors to a little bit of everything. It has yeah. a little bit of like a quick time event here and there. It has a little bit of like a turret event here, but it, it overall feels like an epic, large scale movie that you can actually play through. Exactly, and that's what we love so much. Yep, is that yep. not fucking multiplayer, which it does have, but you know, no, but I mean, like in fall you had co-op through the the campaign so you could play as these characters with your friends that's amazing sure. they should have kept yeah. that but not the i'm talking like the the, the different the multiplayer death matches and all that shit. fuck that that's not why i'm playing transformers exactly. um, and yeah. that's that's my my gripe because that's what they went all in on in war for cybertron or i'm sorry yeah war had the co-op fall did not um instead fall had a crazy multiplayer mode with a horde mode built in it's like mm-hmm. yeah that gets old because i want i want to run through that world i want to you know i want to i want to see everything and i want my friends backing me up as i do it you know and i want to back them up and that's what yeah. was fun about war for cybertron man you see the whole planet you get to see all the cool shit that's going on on the planet you get to see all the the depths of cybertron you get to fly around cybertron you I mean, you do so much in that game, it's nuts, you know? Um, you play from both sides, too. You get to play as the Autobots and the Decepticons. Even if you don't like them, you get to do it. And then uh, uh, Fall of Cybertron is even better because they the, the campaign, it goes deeper. You get to see more of these characters and, you know, see combiners and take down combiners as jazz and shit, you know? Like, it's fucking yeah. nuts. It's nuts. And that last stage is, like, the best final stage i think i've ever played next to maybe uh titanfall 2 the last stage did you beat uh fall of cybertron yet <clears throat> yeah so you remember what i'm talking about where you start out as yeah. like jet fire and then you're on the ship as yeah. jazz and you keep switching back and f- it's fucking insane man it's fucking insane. Uh, yeah between jazz and uh what's his name something climber i can't remember his name oh cliff jumper cliff jumper okay, yeah well. yeah yeah I love it, man. It was, God, that, yeah, that game was so awesome. I need to go back and play it again. <laughs> <laughs> you should. Dude. God, it's so good. Um, but yeah, all the that. music, too, like the music is, is some of the best. Yeah, yeah, for like, sure. That game's extremely, like, underrated. Oh, yeah. Like, oh, yeah. Nobody ever talks about that, that game. Man, I didn't. I haven't, I haven't played War for Cybertron. I haven't played that. Yeah, play it. Play it, because, like... That one, I'm pretty sure. I wonder if if you can. I don't know if it's cross play, where if you have a PS3 and you because it's two different. It's the same network but two different versions of it. Because you would need PS Plus to jump on 
um, to play that online. And I maybe I'll buy it, and then we can play it online. I'll buy it again on um, PS3, uh, 4 and get rid of the copy I have already. And just, we'll go through it. Very much. I can see how much it is really quick. <clears throat> but yeah, that, that, that co-op is awesome. The only thing I don't like is that you don't get to choose from like a whole bunch of Autobots. It's just there's three on each stage. And you got to pick, like most of the time, Optimus is one of the three. And then you, uh, you, you have to pick of between like usually Bumblebee, Ratchet, or Ratchet and like uh, Sideswipe or Sideswipe and uh, what's the guy's name? My boy. Um, uh, hey, no. Um, God, now I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to edit. I'm going to have to edit out the random, hey, dad. Um <laughs> Hey, leave it in there. It, it gives character. <laughs> <laughs> like, okay, I know that. Thank you. Go play. Let me finish doing what I'm doing. All right, go to bed. I'll come. I'll come tuck you in in a sec. Jesus Christ! I ask. I'm like, can I um have, like, <laughs> I'm recording. Let me record. So on top of that, and my um. <laughs> My computer running as slow as molasses and shit. Like, yay. Um, but anyway, uh, yeah, you always have to pick three pre-chosen, ca- you know, a cho- like they set three characters for you. And you got to pick from those three if you play co-op or if you play by yourself or whatever. And usually, I think you play as Optimus all the way through, except for the stages where you play as the Decepticons or um, the Aerial Bots. Then you get to play as like you know Jetfire and uh, Silverbolt and uh, I think it's Silverbolt. It's 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 three of the uh, Air Raid is one of them. Someone else is another one, and uh, I think it's Silverbolt. You get to play as him, but uh, yeah, they don't just let you choose because I would play as Warpath all the way through if they'd let me. Warpath is one of my favorite characters. Warpath, my favorites too, the fucking tank. Yeah. I love that dude, man. Wow, Zowie! <laughs> Kablam! <laughs> Kablam! Like, and it, it's funny because they even changed the way he yells because you know, I guess they didn't want to offend anybody, so he's just like, "Bam, <laughs> pow!" <laughs> I love it, man. It's it's so awesome. Um, but yeah, the um the the game is dope, man. It, it's it's. It's it's like consistently dope, and then like they just up the ante in the second one, and so to get figures that are kind of based off of that universe, you know, I, I dig it. The only thing in this line I'm not digging is this Energon Optimus Prime figure, where he's you know he's got like the guns and the wings and shit, he's like got the guns <clears throat> on top of the guns on top of the guns. Yeah, I'm like nah, man, <laughs> that's unnecessary. Um, <laughs> It just doesn't fit. It doesn't fit because in the games you didn't have anything like this, you know. Um, yeah, I don't like that. Or the head looks like a. It's bat. too much. It's too much. What's going on there. Yeah. Looks like a bat. Looks like, looks like a bat head to fly away or something. I don't know. <laughs> but um, Springer looks dope. So if you missed out on the, the yeah. thirty, what was that thirtieth anniversary Springer from years back, that yeah. turned into a, a vehicle that looked like. Uh, the tumbler mm-hmm. and he also turned into a helicopter because he's a triple changer um this is a good alternative because it's more g1 you know accurate and whatnot um or along the lines more g1 reminiscent i guess i should say um the tetra jets you have uh you know starscream thrust thundercracker all of them you got the jets and you know they're gonna repaint the fuck out of those um yeah so everybody will be able to find their combination of seekers if you you know that you like. Um, I would love to see a Scepter down the line. Who? Uh, Perceptor. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He'd be dope. They love Perceptor. Uh, I'm glad we got Hound because I dig Hound. Yeah, Hound's cool. Prowl is really cool. He comes out like you Prowl said this year. Come out soon too. Yeah. Um, uh, Onslaught would be cool down the road. Yeah. Um, yeah. Obviously. They, to have jazz yep bumblebee you gotta have bumblebee he'll probably be coming soon yep uh who else would be cool i think 
Mirage is coming. Ironhide is coming. Uh, yeah, I just ordered the whole. I just ordered the whole wave. It's eighty bucks. Really? Yeah, it's coming out this month, so it's it's eighty bucks, which is twenty bucks a figure. There's four of them. Oh, that's um, not bad. Yeah, it's not. It's not that bad. It's it. It'll because uh, because I, I wanted to initially just get Ironhide and just call it a day, but um, I'm just gonna get the whole wave. I like everybody that's in that whole wave, including. Um, uh, Chromia. Yeah, yeah, I was thinking about that. I, I, I might get Chromia. I might not. I don't know. I'm not big on like some of these side characters mm. because she's not that super important. But I sure. would, I probably would get her just to have variety. Um, yeah. And also, if I don't like her, my one of my boys will like her. So you know, um, the stick gun looks pretty cool. Yeah, I like the idea of these weaponizers that you could take them apart and then they become weapons for the other characters. That's yeah, pretty that's dope. Pretty... Um, yeah. What else? Um, God, I'm trying to find pictures of these 35th, 30th or 35th anniversary um, figures. Uh, like, Star Scream and uh, Sound or Soundwave come out this month too. There's a lot coming out this month. Holy cow! Yep. I might have to get sound made because I had what was it? Last time I had really any Transformers was all like G one when I was a kid. So yeah, yeah. I really don't have that much as far as that's concerned. I really don't have any. Really, the most I have was you gave me that Ironhide. Yeah. And I bought a couple from uh, Return Return of Titans because I actually liked that line. That line yeah. Cool. But that's about it. Yeah, I um. So I feel like this is a good line to to get into. Yeah, for sure. Especially seeing as a, these are essentially modernized G ones. That's true. And I, that's that's what I love. I need Ultra Magnus. Like that's that's the main thing. Him yeah. and maybe even Soundwave. I need those guys because, yeah, seeing him is what made me even interested in this line in the first place. Um, mm -hmm. Ultra Magnus just looks insane. Fucking, uh, and then Ironhide, <laughs> he looks awesome. Yeah, Ironhide looks like one of the best. Yeah, Chromia looks, looks cool. Okay. Um, Soundwave also. That looks whole cool. wave is pretty solid. With, yeah, with Iron. It's true. Impactor looks sick. Yeah, I agree. And you know there's people that are going to have their their <laughs> their complaints, but, you know, it still doesn't change the fact that these guys look good. Oh, yeah. They well, look... yeah, they, they can have their complaints. I really don't care. I'm not – yeah. they don't collect them if they don't like them. I don't exactly. Really I'm, I like them. I'm going to collect them. <laughs> really, if, if you're going to hate on it. <laughs> yeah. I'm right there with you, man. Like, shit, even Megatron looks dope. I was surprised. I was like, yeah, they all look good. I just – I, there's, I'm gonna get specific figures to be the, the the Megatron and the uh, Optimus for this line, this the the Cybertron versions of those characters. Yeah. So I uh, might have to go back tomorrow and grab Megatron. There was a couple Megatron stuff. So. Yeah. God, they look so cool, man. Like I, I haven't really given a shit about Transformers like this in a long time. So. Yeah. <clears throat> for them to I'm knock right it there with you like i i was like i won't go down that rabbit hole <laughs> but i was like these are these are actually like affordable and like even like now now that it makes sense like even a like a hundred and sixty dollar figure that's 24 inches tall and you know is basically turning into a base yeah essentially you know yeah you're but getting a they, lot these for your are money all affordable as far as collector standards go yeah they're not they're not masterpiece. They're not going to be a hundred dollars or more a piece. Exactly. And they're not. You know, they're not killing your pocketbook. So if you're one of those collectors that don't have a disposable income, this is a line where you can get a lot of these figures. Yep. So that's the good thing. Yep. You know whether people want to hate on it or not because they want to be, you know, masterpiece. Um, Everything. Elitist, <laughs> yeah. You know? Is irrelevant because these aren't meant for you. Then, yeah, that's not, that's not the market they're going for. They're not going for people that want to spend a whole lot of money. They're going for 
know, everyday people yep. that can play with these and not have to worry about them breaking because they spent 20 bucks on them as opposed to spending $100 on them. I agree. I agree. That's right where I'm at because they, you know, I, I, I and I'm not above buying the third party figures. I like third party figures for different reasons, you know, but, um, there just comes a part, a point where I want to play with the figures and I, I'm not going to play with it. If I paid a hundred bucks, if I paid over, yeah. if I paid over a hundred bucks for a six inch figure, he's probably going to sit on my shelf and I'll pose him from time to time and that's it. But these, I'm actually going to like my, my sons can play with me and we can play with them. And you know what I mean? Like we can actually get down yeah. and dirty and be like big kids and just play. And, and that, if something pops off, you can clip it right back up. Exactly. And that, it's and not that's, the end of the world. That's what I'm. That's what I'm going for. That's why I am so geeked about this line. It just. It just works. Yeah, I'm. I'm really. I'm really excited. Yeah, because I don't. I, I. I just really haven't given a shit about Transformers like that. Like I. I talk about them with Agent O, and then we look at certain ones, and then like, you know, there's been <clears throat> certain Transformers here and there. Like I bought the uh, Power of the Primes hot rod that turns into Rodimus Prime. Yeah. Because, That's actually one that I hope they release in this line. Yeah, I, I don't know if they're they're doing another version of... Oh, yeah, like a Cybertron version. I don't know. They, yeah. I haven't seen anything about him, but they should. I mean, it depends on how far this battle goes, because he wasn't really part of this. But True. then again, if they have uh, Ultra Magnus, then they're going to have to have Hot Rod. I mean, they even have uh, Springer... Unless they're saying these guys fought in the war, and this was before Hot Rod was like born, yeah. <laughs> you know, like <laughs> yeah, true. Because because Ultra Magnus is supposed to be old. He's like a, a, a Cybertronian hero from back in the day too. So, um, what if they make um, what's your, oh shit, I forgot his name. Sorry. What's he turn into? Oh, what the hell's his name? He's huge. He's like Metroplex. Yes. Oh, from the Cybertron version of him? Holy shit! Then yeah, that, that's a fucking yeah. I would pay, I would pay money back. That. That's another one because they did a version of Metroplex years ago, um, when uh, when they did Titans Return or whatever or whatever became before Titans Return. I can't remember what it was called back then. Maybe it was Titans Return. I'll have um, to look it up. Or Combiner Wars, something like that. Um, they did a version of uh, of what's his name, of, of Metroplex, and they also did a version of, uh, what's that guy's name, uh, Fortress Maximus. Yeah, and, uh, that I remember seeing. So, like, yeah, they, they've done, you know, they've done a lot of these, the bigger Transformers, um, and, and this is like, I'm talking like maybe two years ago, you know what I mean? Like, they went and they, they, they beefed them up and, Gave them more artic gave them actual articulation so you could pose them and shit. It's just that they're they're kind of heavy, so I think you have to pick a pose and <laughs> that's how you play with them, you know. But um, <laughs> they exist. I mean, it would be it'd be different if they went back and they made them for uh, War for Cybertron because he was part of freaking Fall of Cybertron in in the, in the game. So uh, yeah, that'd be dope. Like when you fucking destroy Megatron, like you kill. <laughs> He he kills it. Oh, <laughs> he crushed it like an ant. Yeah, freaking tenderized his ass like it was done. Like, did anybody did anybody order the medium medium well <laughs> Megatron? Yeah, he was done, man. Deceased. He was done. Um, put him on the grill and cook him up. Yeah, Pour some barbecue sauce on him. Yeah, it was it was dope, man. That shit it threw me off. I was like, wow. Um, but yeah, fuck, one hundred and sixty bucks for Fortress Maximus. I mean, for I'm sorry, a Mega Supreme. Shit. That's 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 a pretty penny right there. But I'm getting them. Yeah, and then Jetfire's eighty bucks. He's already on pre-ordered on a uh, up for pre-order on Amazon. Got my my ninjas popping up uh, pre orders and stuff. Yep. <laughs> Thank you, uh, Peter, for throwing that up. Um, I'm still trying to do a um, do a video with him too because uh, he has a channel. He 
doesn't post as often as as you know some other um, folks do. Mm-hmm. Kind of like me, I don't I don't post as often as like shit. I don't post as often as you do, but uh, he usually posts like you know when he does custom paint jobs on things or you know if he gets a figure that he's been looking for for a while he'll post that stuff and then he does uh, some uh, you know f- like photo dio story type things too and they've all been pretty good so. I, I like looking at his stuff, so it'd be cool. But he brought up some cool points a while back, and I was like, "Shit, let's let's talk about these points." But we haven't been able to link up yet, so that would be cool to do that. God, I'm so tempted to get this Optimus Prime. Which one? The the one you just got. Get them. I, no, get I have en- I have enough primes. That's my problem. Like I have the one He's from. Good though. From, I've been kicking around with him him and Pound all day, dude. I can't put him down. <laughs> Yeah. He's a good size. Like, I mean. Yeah, he is. He is. what, nine inches tall, I think? Yeah, something something. like that. I think so. Seven, seven. Because Pound is only five and a half, and he's, like, a little bit taller. He's about seven inches. Well, the one I have, the the, the MP10, uh, the the, the downsized MP10 is about, he's almost eight inches tall. So Mm -hmm. he's, he's roughly the same height. Probably a little bit taller than the one you got. So, and that's that's the G1 classic looking prime. So I might, I, I got to get Striker Manus, man. When I find that dude, when I get him, because I found him for a decent price, I'm gonna probably get him this week, and uh, that'll start. That'll kick this off, <laughs> so I can jump in and start getting these <laughs> other guys. Um, but yeah, that's uh. I want to say that's the majority of what I am really geeked about. I, I know that's what, what you're geeked about, too. Um, oh, yeah. I don't really... It's not really that much else. I mean, there's obviously no G.I. Joe stuff. Oh, yeah. there's uh, some Power Rangers shit. I was actually surprised. Oh, yeah, Hasbro and their Power Rangers. I was surprised to see this stuff, man. Like, they call it the Lightning Collection. Um, I was like, wow, okay. Yeah. Go, Hasbro. They're, they're, they're kind of... Taking their cues from uh, from the, uh, the 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 Japanese market, you know, with these characters coming with multiple heads and multiple hands, and they're fi- we're finally getting a posable Goldar figure to fight, you know, our <laughs> years and years and years and years of Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. <laughs> um, we're getting an unmasked uh, the new Red Ranger. Uh, who's who's actually black under there? I didn't realize that. So well, we're I gotta find where these photos are. I can't find them. It's through somewhere. Toy Arc. If you go up at the top, there's Toku Nation. There's like uh, Toku Nation. It says Toku Nation, His Tank. It says TFW, His Tank, Toku Nation, and Toy Arc. His Tank. Like go to the very very top. It says <laughs> Net Network. I only see NECA. The, no, no, no. Go oh, all the way, all it. the way up. I see it. I see it. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. yeah. I am I am amazed. The Lord Zed figure looks dope. Um, and there's other stuff, too. For now, I'm just going to stick with these because we've been on here forever. But uh, all this shit is on, uh, on, on Toy Arc. So, yeah. Know, it's just a matter of jumping on Toy Arc and finding what you want to find but man they really are giving figure arts a run for their money i mean the articulation on these guys they have diaphragm joints and ab crunches kind of like they look super super durable yeah and you know they will be because they're they're fucking it's hasbro so they have to be so you know it almost makes me kind of happy i don't have to spend 40 bucks a pop for (laughs) each of these characters the ones that i do want because that's been the problem, you know? Like, I have the the uh, the Japanese version of... Because, you know, like, the two the Japanese shows are different from the U.S. shows. Where so, the hell are all the photos? I can't find any photos. Do Go to your the Toy Arc Toy Fair page. <clears throat> and at the bottom, the very bottom of the list, it, it has the TFW separate stuff. And then underneath TFW, it says Toku Nation. The Power Lightning Collection. That's yeah, what click on that, and then you'll, you'll right. it'll send it you right now. there. Okay. Oh, yeah, the packaging even looks like fucking figure arts, kind of. Yeah. 
little box with the with clear the, window uh -huh. and the artwork outside. Wow. Yeah. These it, look beast. Yeah, man. It's like it's weird. Like even if you don't know shit about these characters and the that world, just seeing the figures, if you appreciate good figures, I mean, there you go. These are no, it's yeah. not. And they wonder why they had to close their division their own. Let's leave the wrestling to WWE and Mattel. Okay, yeah. let's leave it, leave it alone. Yeah, this shit, they look stupid. They look, like Deathstroke's head looks terrible. <laughs> it look, they they are trash. Oh they my are god. Absolute. Yeah, these look terrible. And I was looking at like the comments, and people were like, "It's something different." And I'm like, you know, yeah, whatever, different. Oh, it, well, if you want something different, I'll take a dump in the box and send it to you. <laughs> There's something different. Well, for it's just you. like you have these fans that have to buy everything that says Batman or Superman or whatever, and it's like you can it cannot be good. It's it's okay to say that like it's, these companies did not, something yeah. shitty because it's terrible. I mean, like I guess if you don't really collect figures and you're big <laughs> on, on wrestling or something, then okay, fine, then maybe. But if you collect figures, there's nothing redeemable. I mean, you could say. The detail is nice, but you can also say that this doesn't fit these characters. I mean, they're not wrestlers. You but know they what I mean? don't even look right. Yeah, they look goofy even for luchadors. They look goofy. Like, no one's head looks like Deathstroke's head in the history <laughs> of mankind. Uh, well, if you have a problem, it does. <laughs> if you weren't born with all the things in the right places... Then yeah, you could possibly have a head, a misshapen head like that. Well, why does Metallo look like a goddamn gorilla? Yeah, it's it's just ugh. he nobody looks like he looks like he's got gorilla arms. He's got that like fifty year old man body. <laughs> that Ric you know, Flair, like, that Ric know, Flair body. Like, he's like pear shaped, <laughs> and he's got like skinny legs. Yeah. Oh, awful. Yeah, these he are bad. Trash. And the reason why I'm saying they're trash and I could say they're trash is because I'm an actual wrestling fan. You don't even so have, I know just what looking a at wrestler them, that's supposed to fucking look like. Just even looking at them, period. Like, everybody's seen at least one luchador in their life. You know what I mean? And these don't look like what luchadors and lucha libre is supposed to look like. I mean, the spirit is there. The Catwoman figure looks like her, like a luchador. You know, like a costume, a themed costume that would be in lucha libre, but... The rest of them just look silly. It, they look dumb. Yeah, they look straight up. On, on many levels. Yeah, they look uh, straight a, up silly. If you're going to put out wrestling figures, I have to be able to do maneuvers. Yeah. I'm looking at some of these elbow joints. No. Yeah, it's like no range of motion. Granted, these are prototypes, and some of the articulation isn't even there. You know they're not going to have the articulation. They're that they not going to have it. Yeah, you know. We already know. Um... Let me look at these icons some more. I want that Wonder Woman. The Wonder Woman and Cheetah. I need that. I definitely want Red Hood and Nightwing. Yeah, I might get Nightwing. 26 bucks a piece. Yeah, I could deal with that. And the Cyborg Superman, I'll get that. Even though I still like the... Um, the one I have, the, uh, the the DCUC one, I love that figure. Yeah, it's so good. Um, that Supergirl looks awesome though. And she has yeah. freaking thigh swivels. Hell yeah! I want that because <laughs> that's what they're missing. That's the thing that sucked about this line is that they they didn't have. Oh, Superman does too. Yeah, hell yeah. What the essentials line? Well, the icons didn't have thigh swivels. Oh, yeah, but the essentials do. The essentials do. The problem was that they all had the same body. Now you're looking at, like, a Joker with a different body and a, a Batgirl yeah. with a different body, even though it's the damn Burnside Batgirl. Womp, womp. Ugh. I'm not a Just fan. Just do the, do the new 52 one, at least. Yeah, I'm, I'm not a fan the of that. Burnside either. shit is... For the fuck, put that shit in a dumpster and set it on fire. <laughs> shit is terrible. Yeah, Red Hood looks dope about time it's so such a simple design why did it take them so long dude i don't, I don't know they like just started realizing that red hood sells They're like oh we got this character that kind of sells i don't need to do it his figure and then like 10 years later they're like 
Oh, we can make money on him? I don't know. Let's, let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> Finally do it. But yeah, these animated series figures, I don't know, man. I'm not feeling them at all. It's just, I like, I, I like the idea, and I like, I love that series, don't get me wrong, but, like, it's just, they, they, they feel like they should be... You have to want, you have to just want to get them to stand there because you are a huge Batman animated series fan. That's probably all you collect. Yeah, if that's you all you... have to, like, be a diehard to get that, like, that, that entire line. Yeah. Especially with the growing pains that they've had. Oh, my God. Yeah. I mean, and, and, the, and knowing that you're not going to finish it. Like, yeah. you can't get the... Um, I mean, unless you go on eBay and pay a, a ridiculous premium, you can't get the Justice League figures, the animated Justice League figures, um, because you have to get them with the DC streaming service. Which, fuck that. who the That's fuck, cool. who the fuck, like in this day and age, really, <coughs> when you could, you, you know could... what would have been no smart, smart thing, what, if they, if they, if you signed up for the DC animated, or the DC service, or whatever the fuck, and they actually gave you that pack for free, for that, signing up, yeah, that would be awesome, the, I would sign up, yeah, I would have signed up, and then I would have canceled, like, a month later, <laughs> <laughs> for real, <laughs> okay, I signed up, I got my shipping confirmation. Yep. It's on its way. I got the pack. Okay, cancel. Cancel. I'll be <laughs> done. Because, like, everything that they're offering, you can find for free streaming online. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, you can find it for free. Like, they're not doing anything that hasn't been done. And it's it sucks because they're trying to pretend like, like DC. You know what people do? You know what they're going to do? They're going to do the same thing that WWE did. They're going to find everyone that's got that and put copyright strikes against them, or they're going to sue people. Yeah. This is exactly what WWE did. So you cannot find, like, WWE matches, old matches, unless they're on, like... Yeah, I daily, remember. You were telling me. Daily Motion, and it's very rare. Like, now they're starting to take it down off Daily Motion. I know. Yeah, a lot of stuff's gone off of there. So I'm starting to see, like, they'll go after people because, I mean... They want you to be on that streaming service. Yeah, I don't that's know. what they're going to start doing. Because that's what WWE did, and everyone's copying off WWE because they were the they were the starters of that fucking sign up for the network shit. That sucks. That's what's going to happen, and then it's only going to get worse when Disney does it because then there goes all the properties that Disney owns now. No, that's why so Netflix like, is at a mad. Netflix is going to be gutted. Well, not really. I mean, that, that's why they've been, the last three years, they've been, like, really hardcore about Netflix originals. True. And, but, and they're going to keep going I mean, you're that. not going to have any Marvel movies. Yeah, you're not going to have Aliens, because they're owned by Disney now. Yep. There's a Fox merger. You're not going to have, uh, oh, God, what else? They own like everything. Yeah. Star Wars, Goodbye, all that stuff. Like, all the, 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 the big name movies are going to be gone off of Netflix, which... It sucks. It sucks, dude. Yeah, it really sucks. Um, <coughs> yeah, I don't know. Like I said, I stick to my alternative means of watching things, because everything that these services are trying to capitalize off of us on the, in the wrong way, you can find mm -hmm. it for free. And, you know, until they section off the internet and you can't we're not allowed to, you know, use the internet. We have to pay for every aspect of the internet. I'm just going to continue with the free stuff because, you know, it's not it's not worth it to, to spend all that extra to watch movies, mostly that I have in my house on DVD or yep. Blu-ray, you know, just to watch them online. Fuck that, you know. Um, but, yeah, DC collectibles, they've dropped the ball over the last couple years. I, I've, I haven't bought a DC Collectibles figure in so long, and it hurts my heart because I, I'm a DC fan, but they just yeah. don't seem to know what to do with their franchises. I mean, it's well, like, it comes kind of comes off. Maybe I'm reading too much into it, but it kind of comes off like they just don't give a shit. I think they did, but I don't know if they've because they've sold the they, they've split their their licenses off so many different ways. It's like they figured they don't have to anymore. 
Like they don't yeah. have they don't have to carry the ball now because they have all these people playing for them. And I feel yeah. like they used to make the best DC stuff. I mean, granted, you had problems with, um, you know, the uh, material sometimes. But, you know, as far as collector grade shit goes, they made some of the best figures. I mean, I look at my Batman collection and, like, more than half of the non, like, if it's not Batman himself, it prob- I probably have a DC Collectibles. Like, my Alfred is a DC Collectibles figure. Um, yeah, that was almost, mine. Almost all my villains are DC Collectibles villains. Um, I mean, it's, it's nuts. Most of the Bat family, I have, like, some version from DC Collectibles, like my Azrael is DC Collectibles, my Huntress is DC Collectibles, Catwoman, Red Hood, um, Commissioner Gordon. Um, I actually have a couple Commissioner Gordons, and they're all DC Collectibles. Um, shit, my least favorite Robin figure is DC Collectibles, and that's the Arkham Knight Robin. I I thought I really wanted it because he looks cool. And then when I got him, I'm just like, I don't like this figure. I don't know what it is. It's like, he's too big. His articulation is weird. And uh, I don't know. I don't. I just don't like him. Um, yeah, I feel you. I was so mad because I, I waited so long. And then I got him for like 14 bucks, something like that, 14 or 16 bucks, something like that. And I, I was geeked because I'm like, man, you know, uh, he looks, mm-hmm. looks so awesome. He's bigger than Batman. It doesn't even make sense. Like, why is he so out of scale with Batman? When they're supposed to be from the same line, they're sculpted by the same guy. How did they let that pass? I don't, I don't get it. But, uh... Yeah, I don't get that shit either. <laughs> but, I mean, I like his weapons and stuff, and I kept him because it's Tim Drake. So I was like, alright, I'll keep him. Because Tim Drake, he's the most uh, kind of underappreciated Robin, and, and I feel like Wherever they do a Tim Drake, I got to get it because he's yeah he's he's that's the one that few and far between. I mean, we're finally getting a red rot a new red Robin figure. Exactly. Um, yeah, man. Like my even in my Justice League setup, the reason why I don't have mostly DC UCs is because so many of my DC her- heroes are Marvel. I mean, DC uh, direct or DC um, you know collectibles because they did like my swamp thing that fucking amazing winged swamp thing figure yeah he's he's dope that, my sandman figure is uh um, you know DC <coughs> collectibles um i've got like some figures that i have the um the dc collectibles and the mattel version um yeah it's just a shame it's a shame my, my freaking martian manhunter is the only one actually both of my martian manhunter figures are dc collectibles I have the one from Supergirl, which I think is such an awesome live-action design for him. And then I have the classic stripper version <laughs> from uh, <laughs> the, um, the, the what's his name? Uh, fuck, Ed McGinnis version, the real muscular yeah. version. And I, I always felt like that was the best, hands down, the best design, like musculature-wise, height-wise, size-wise. That was the best one. And then the only one that I want that I, I, I missed out on and I feel like an idiot is the New 52 one because I love that design. I never saw him in the store, in my comic book store. <clears throat> but I think the one time I saw him, he was like 60 bucks or something, and now he goes for well over 100 so, mm. Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Um, but yeah, a lot of my figures are DC collectibles. And then, uh, it sucks that... Uh, They've stopped making figures, you know, like they're, they're not making quality figures anymore. It just, it, it doesn't, it doesn't make sense to me, but I mean, they, I guess they kind of screw themselves over by having so many people making the same products, you know? Well, they, they were trying to do too much all at once. <clears throat> like they had so many, remember how many different style, different lines they had? Yeah. It's like, why don't you just simplify things to six inch figures with good articulation, good range of motion, and just focus on that. And if you wanted to do that in the animated line, fine. Yeah. Just focus, simplify things. Sometimes you, when you fuck up for so long, because you're trying to do too much at once, 
and you don't have the budget for this one as much as the budget is for this one, just simplify things, go back to basics, say, let's put more money into this, make it higher quality so that we start gaining a higher standard amongst our set, our buyers, and then we can start to branch out if we start making more money. But I feel like now they're 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 licking their wounds, so to speak, because no, nothing has caught on. Yeah, they they were just trying to do too much. Where really, like between this year, they didn't really announce that much besides the overpriced Batman figure, um, and well, some animated. Figures, Lucha Libre figures, and then yeah. Essentials. That's it. It's not really a whole lot compared to, like, what Marvel Legends and the rest oh. of Hasbro's done. Yeah, Hasbro killed it this year. But you look at Hasbro, and really, when you think about it, they, they've they had the right formula for years because they simplified things. Exactly. They said, they said listen, the, uh, Marvel Legends is a, is a main seller. Star yep. Wars is a main seller. Those are our two big sellers right there. No, Transformers, too. And Transformers. Well, you know what I mean. I was getting to that. But yeah, yeah. Transform well, Transformers, Star Wars, and... And, uh, and Marvel. And Marvel. Those are our three big sellers. <coughs> More so, I want to say Marvel probably makes the most money because of the movies. No, I think Star Wars does. Because um, they have the most lines and they have the most money. It's coming from Disney, you know what I mean? They can do whatever they want. So Yeah, that's true. Yeah. They definitely that I mean you notice it when you look at the amount of Star Wars product that's out there, it's like fuck. They've done everything. So true. But uh yeah, they do put their money in those things though. It makes sense. But that's you know, DC collectibles doesn't do that because they <coughs> They try to put, they try to put too many eggs in different baskets, mm-hmm. and then it's like you don't have enough eggs, bro. You're, you're <laughs> quality shit, because you need to. What you need to do is start putting all your eggs in a, a few baskets, or two baskets, and then you'll have better quality. It's true. It's very true. So I don't know. So. I I will mention uh, the. <laughs> one thing, because <laughs> I know some of our uh, our fan our, our GI Joe fans out there will, will wonder. I don't care because I don't collect um, statues, but uh, Kobotokia um, or Kotobukia. I always mix those two things up. Uh, they released statues. You know their uh, Bishoju um, line. They oh. did statues of. Uh, G.I. Joe. So they did, uh, like, a, let me see, let me find the pictures of it so that I can show. They did, uh... But don't you want to talk about the final 12 the from fuck, the club? Fuck that shit. Are you sure? <laughs> Are you sure you don't want to talk about the unteamed version of Psych Out and Barbecue? Oh my god. Fuck. And Low Light? Fuck that shit. And Lieutenant Falcon? I'm not even going to talk about them. Like, fuck, Are you sure? Fuck that shit. Yeah, I'm not even, I'm not the least bit, you know me, and, the, and the, even even after doing artwork for that that, that thing, I'm not what even. What about Coils O'Doom? <laughs> Coils O'Doom. <laughs> I mean, he's really cool. Nah, I'm good. Um, <laughs> I'm good. I'm not even going to play that with them. <laughs> you know, they did a, um, Scarlet, they did the Baroness, they did uh, Lady J, I think that's it. And my my computer is still crawling, so yeah, I'm just going to scroll over here. They also did My Little Pony stuff, but you know, we're not going to talk about that. That's not my my bag, baby. Not my bag. Uh, 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 What else is there? Super 7 stuff? Uh Oh yes, you're right. The, the movie, the, the movie, movie He-Man Boku stuff. Thing. Yes, I forgot about that. Dolph Lundgren. I forgot about that. Dolph Lundgren is a uh, He-Man. Thank God. 
<laughs> Finally, I've been asking for this, and and freaking the Frank Langella Skeletor, both the the regular and the super powered, you know, the the Gray Skull powered of the universe version. Um, yeah. I've been that, waiting for that. Tour, that movie Skeletor looks fucking ill. The who movie the Skeletor? Movie? Yeah, yeah, Ooh. yeah. We need that. We've needed that for a while. I've seen customs. There's a couple guys on uh, YouTube who had customs made, and uh, God. It's surprising to see that they actually like paid attention and made these figures. You know, it's about time. They even they're even doing a uh, original artwork of Conan the Barbarian. Yep, I saw that. Jesus Christ, computer, speed up! There we go. Extra head for He Man. His his small like pick. His dad is a. Uh, Short sword, long sword. Oh yeah, that's cool. So he's got the knife that's in his leg, like on his boot, and then the short sword that was, I think, on his side, and then the, uh, or no, it's on his back because the gun goes in his side. Where's his pistol at? His pistol on the next photo. It's like on a separate photo. He does come with it though. That's cool. Conan comes with extra head. Um. He's got like a screaming face with horns mm-hmm. on his helmet. Yeah. See, you know, little, what's that? The problem is that with Super 7 is like if you don't pre-order it like when they announce it, yeah, you're it, never going to get it. Yep. And and I'm not one of those people who's big on pre-ordering everything. So like this right here doesn't exist to me <laughs> pretty much <laughs> because I'm not going to pre-order this like 10 months in advance or like a year in advance. Like I, I don't do that shit. Like I like he man and all. I do. And I like, well, I just, there's too many other things going on for me to be like, Oh, I'm going to pre-order this, this, you know, all these figures yeah. months and months and months, years and years and years in advance. I did that with those, uh, Chinese figures, those joy toy, um, dark source figures. And yeah. the shit still hasn't come in. I had to cancel it because the dude uh, told me they were coming out last month. He was like, don't cancel. It comes out this month. And I'm like, you said that six months ago. <laughs> and they were supposed to come out like the month after I pre-ordered or two months after I pre-ordered. And yeah, weren't they supposed to come out like... Supposedly Big Bad Toy Store already has them. And I've seen people in different threads posting pictures of these things, even on Facebook. So I'm like, how do these motherfuckers here in the U.S. have these? And I ordered mine in August of last year, and I still don't have mine. It's probably a bunch of people from L.A. and shit. Yeah, it usually is. All those motherfuckers get shit before everybody else. So, yeah, I'm, I was kind of like, you know, that's always been my problem with, with, with pre-orders on a lot of stuff. I'm like, you know, pre-ordering shit. Like, if, if we can go in on something and we all pre-order on, on something uh, and we know it's, like, they have a track record of, of making sure shit comes out, maybe. But, like, there's too many figures to be pre-ordering everything. I mean, I guess if, if I had a credit card specifically for that, <laughs> then maybe it wouldn't be a problem, you know? Mm-hmm. But uh, I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't have a credit card specifically for um, my toys, like it just it just seems so alien for me to do that. But these look really good. You know, like not trying to diss this anything. I mean, and it's cool that they're they're making a shadow weaver from the um filmation. So all of us yeah. who couldn't get the classics version, we could probably get this theoretically. She's probably going to go for 200 bucks like the day after she comes out, just like the other one. I don't know. It, you know what I find funny though. I'm I'm surprised they didn't actually come out with Blade. Yeah, that's true. Because they came out with him in Motu form, but he was kind of like cartoony a little bit. Yeah, that's true. And they also came out with Karg in the classics. Yeah. So it's kind of weird that they did another one. I guess it's easy if they just repaint him, you know? Yeah, I guess so. God, my computer is fucking crawling today. What the fuck? This is annoying. I have never had it go that slow. Ugh, so a, weird. I don't. I don't get it. Anyway, it is. <laughs>